Chapter 2921 Six Star Battle Armor Although the figure was indistinct and it was impossible to tell its features, that aura was something carved into Long Chen's bones and heart. On the Martial Heaven continent, in a fit of rage, he had activated his purgatory eyes, looking through space and time to see Lord Brahma. That one look had caused the Martial Heaven continent to be destroyed. If it weren't for the dragon expert helping, Long Chen and everyone on the continent would have been wiped out. The position of the one that Long Chen hated most in the world could only belong to Lord Brahma, and it wasn't just from the will deep within his soul anymore. Now, this figure made him think of the Pill Fairy. To protect him, the Pill Fairy had willingly become Pill Valley's divine daughter. Pill Valley's mission had been to overlook the Martial Heaven continent and see if any nine star heirs appeared. When the Pill Fairy died in Long Chen's embrace, Long Chen's hatred of Lord Brahma reached a level that could not be described with words. Now Long Chen was completely sure why he loathed Chu Kuang. Killing intent then exploded out of him, and his body was quivering. Seeing him quiver, the experts outside were startled. Long Chen was actually so shaken by Chu Kuang's aura that he was quivering. That could only mean that he was powerless to resist and about to be killed. It wasn't just the spectators who thought like that. Chu Kuang was of the same opinion. Kneel and face your death. That's your only option. The divine energy flowing out of Chu Kuang was no longer a power that belonged to him. With a thought, life could be born. And with another thought, it could be extinguished. This was also Chu Kuang's first time using this power. But as he felt it coursing through his veins, while it also caused him great harm, it also gave him the feeling of absolute control, causing him to throw everything else to the back of his mind. In fact, despite the constant damage to his body, he wasn't in a rush to kill Long Chen. He wanted to torment Long Chen before taking his head. You're wrong. My choice is to kill you both. Long Chen clenched his teeth, and flames almost burst out of his eyes. Six-star battle armor, with an inward roar, the image of a six-point star appeared in his eyes. As for the starry river behind him, six stars lit up within it, and a wild aura erupted. Boom. As Long Chen stamped on the air, space collapsed beneath his foot, and he shot toward Chu Kuang like a bolt of lightning, his fist hurtling toward him. An unrivaled will and an explosive killing intent twisted and turned. This sudden eruption from Long Chen shocked everyone. The current Long Chen's aura had also completely changed just like Chu Kuang's. While Long Chen had appeared calm and indifferent the entire time before, now his eyes were scarlet, and it was like he was a devil from hell. That killing intent gave people chills. On the other hand, Chu Kuang sneered and divine light spread from his saber. He slashed it at Long Chen, and the result was a huge explosion that shook heaven and earth. Both of their figures vanished, replaced by a ball of light that rapidly spread until it suddenly exploded. As a result, the grand formation of the plaza shattered, and everyone on the battlefield was blown back by their power. As for the experts surrounding the plaza, they instantly felt the aura of death envelop them. If those ripples reached them, it was unknown just how many of them would survive. Fortunately, a large hand suddenly descended, and the hole that had been made by their power was blocked by this hand. It was the head of the Immortal Institute who had done it. The hand transformed into millions of chains that wrapped around the formation, strengthening it. Seeing this, the other experts were at ease. Despite there being a formation, Long Chen and Chu Kuang's power was too great. Even though they were not within the same space, they had a feeling that those ripples would spell out death for them if struck. Now that they thought about it, considering that they were in separate spaces, their fear was rather embarrassing. However, when they saw the other disciples that sat closer to the barrier starting to flee, they smiled and felt better. Within the battlefield, the two auras continued to clash fiercely, and runes were raging in the air. It was a shocking sight. Is this really a battle between mortal transcendence disciples? Why does it feel like even four peak experts would be killed if they entered? exclaimed an elder with disbelief. Other four peak experts also nodded. These auras were truly terrifying. Chu Kuang had some terrifying existences aura, while Long Chen was no inferior. What Long Chen was fighting right now wasn't Chu Kuang but that mysterious existence behind him. Eventually, the runes cleared up a bit, allowing them to see Long Chen and Chu Kuang again. Long Chen's fist was smashing into Chu Kuang's saber, 
and ripples were spreading from between the fist and saber. Those tiny ripples made the air rumble like thunder. No one wanted to imagine what would happen if they were struck by those ripples. Long Chen, you aren't a match for me. Do you know who my god is? It is a supreme venerate. Someone whose name shakes the nine heavens and ten lands. You think you can fight against me? Sneered Chu Kuang. The manifestation behind him ignited, and more and more divine energy poured into him, causing his aura to rapidly rise. Who does he think he is? I will sooner or later cut off his head and use it as a stool. I'll show you just who is the strongest Long Chen suddenly roared. The six stars behind him formed two triangles and began to spin contrary to each other. At the same time, the 108,000 stars in his body ignited, every single one of them pouring energy into him. Boom. Long Chen's power exploded, and Chu Kuang was sent flying by his fist. How can this be? Chu Kuang was shocked, unable to believe his eyes. Just at that moment, Long Chen's second fist smashed into him. Heaven and earth shook from this one fist. Boom. 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 Long Chen unleashed three punches forcing Chu Kuang back three times. With every collision, a huge explosion shook the battlefield, and Long Chen's punches grew stronger and stronger. Heavens, have I gone crazy? Both their auras are still rising so crazily people were shocked to find that as they thought, their power only grew. There was no end to their strength. Break. Long Chen suddenly roared. Followed by his roar, Chu Kuang's blood-colored saber was shattered by his punch. This bloodline spirit item was actually unable to continue blocking Long Chen's fists. With it gone, Long Chen's foot smashed into Chu Kuang's chest. Bang! Chu Kuang's body armor also exploded. With one fist and one foot, Chu Kuang's two spirit items were destroyed. Furthermore, at that moment, the manifestation behind him quivered. Chu Kuang's expression changed as his power had reached its limit. This was not his power, and if the fight dragged on, his battle prowess would start dropping. I'll kill you with one move. Having lost his blade and armor, Chu Kuang didn't retreat. Instead, his right arm shook, and the sleeve there exploded. At some point, layers of runes had appeared on his arm until it looked like it was made of steel. Suddenly, the manifestation behind him vanished, and four specks of light covered his fists. There was also a faint figure within those lights. Brahma for Divine Beast Punch. Chu Kuang concentrated all of his power on a single attack. This was the strongest attack of his life, and life or death would be decided here. Chapter 2922 World Extermination Flame Lotus Shocks Chu Kuang concentrated all his manifestation's power into a single fist. Space began to twist around it furiously. Long Chen snorted and extended a hand. A lotus mark appeared on his palm. The lotus had nine petals and nine stars appeared on every petal. When this flame lotus appeared, the entire world changed color. Just now, the sun had been high and bright in the sky. Now, countless rainbow clouds covered the sky, shocking everyone. A manifestation of the heavenly deos. Seven color auspicious clouds. Could it be that the magical art in Long Chen's hand was made by himself? It has been acknowledged by heaven and earth. The experts present were stunned. Legend was that when powerful divine arts appeared in this world, they would be acknowledged by the heavenly deos, and the seven-color auspicious cloud manifestation would descend. Divine arts that could be acknowledged by the immortal world were all exceedingly terrifying. Those were techniques that an entire sect could be founded upon. A lower world ascender like Long Chen could create such a technique at such a young age? Those who had managed to create their own divine arts that were recognized by the immortal world's heavenly deos were essentially all famous figures within the immortal world's history. As for Long Chen, for a moment, everyone could only stare at him in disbelief. A small flame dragon coiled around Long Chen's arm. Its body began to dim, but the lotus instantly began radiating brilliant light. World Extermination Flame Lotus Long Chen smashed his palm at Chu Kuang's fist. Victory or defeat would be decided here. Boom. In front of countless shocked gazes, one palm and one fist collided. The entire plaza shuddered, and the barrier around the battlefield collapsed. Gusts of wind blew past these experts, feeling like knives on their skin. Fortunately, the head of the Immortal Institute still had his defense up, so no one was injured. 
the terrain within the battlefield had completely changed. The original tall mountain range where Long Chen and Chu Kuang had been fighting was now a plain of ruins. At the center, one of Long Chen's arms was bare. In the end, he was unable to protect that sleeve. His aura was starting to grow chaotic. That attack had almost exhausted all of his energy. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that the world extermination flame lotus would have even greater power in the immortal world. When it appeared, so much flame energy had automatically flowed towards it that he hadn't even needed to guide it. As long as time permitted it, the world extermination flame lotus could have continued growing stronger limitlessly. But then Long Chen wouldn't be able to control it. In fact, his right hand was currently a bloody mess from using it, but he ignored it. He walked over to where Chu Kuang was laying. Half of Chu Kuang's body was gone. He no longer appeared as arrogant and indomitable as before. Instead, he looked like a half-dead dog, curled up with his body twitching. When he saw Long Chen coming towards him, he was filled with terror. He had lost. He wasn't a match for Long Chen. Uncle, save me. Chu Kuang suddenly shouted with all his power. The void shattered, and a figure came flying out of that space. That figure was fast, but Long Chen was even faster. He immediately appeared in front of Chu Kuang and grabbed his head, lifting him up like a chicken. The one who had come was Chu Huiren. He had immediately rushed over, but he was too late. The other magistrate also appeared. Just as they entered, Long Chen sensed an aura behind him. The head judge had come as well. Long Chen, we admit defeat. Release Chu Kuang. You can set any conditions that you wish, said Chu Huiren. He had never dreamed that Chu Kuang would be defeated, especially not to some lower world ascender with no foundation or background. His reactions were just a bit too slow to save Chu Kuang. Now his life was in Long Chen's hands. Chu Huiren wanted to attack and kill Long Chen snuffing out this terrifying existence while he could, but he couldn't, big word, I don't want anything, I just want his life, otherwise, I won't be able to face those brothers that died in battle here, said Long Chen with a cold smile, did he really think that anyone could be bought with money, Long Chen, do you know which god that the Chu family worships shouted the other magistrate, does it have anything to do with me, Long Chen was well aware, but he acted like a fool, I'm not afraid of telling you that it is the mighty divine venerate Brahma who controls almost half the powers within the hundred domains and thousand prefectures. If you kill Chu Kuang, you will also be killed. Not even the Dean would be able to protect you, declared the magistrate. The other experts' expressions changed. No one had known that the Chu family had actually become one of divine venerate Brahma's subordinates. The name of divine venerate Brahma is Supreme. Would he lie about this? The Chu family was defeated by the Luo family and almost wiped out. For them to suddenly rise again must be because of divine venerate Brahma. Heavens, if that's true, then their backer is truly huge. The Luo family is doomed. What a lack of justice. This trash Chu Kuang actually has such a background. No one can touch him. Luo Bing and Luo Ning shivered. This huge secret was actually exposed today. It was the worst news to the Luo family. The Chu family had divine venerate Brahma's support? Then how would the Luo family fight them? How could they avoid being wiped out? Divine venerate Brahma? What crap is that? How come I've never heard of such a thing? And so what? Do you think I'm afraid? Sneered Long Chen. Brahma? TCH. Even if Brahma didn't come for him, Long Chen would be the one finding him. Just wait. He might not be able to beat him now, but who said he couldn't beat his followers? How brazen. You dare to blaspheme divine venerate Brahma. You are courting death, raged the magistrate. Long Chen slapped Chu Kuang's face, causing more blood to spray out of him. Chu Kuang screamed, old ghost, do you want to try cursing me again? Let's see just which one of us is tougher. If you have the guts, don't stop. Long Chen shook Chu Kuang in front of him. That appearance of his was incredibly infuriating. Chapter 2923 I'll give you half all right. Our Chu family admits defeat. Long Chen, you are a generation's hero. The grudge that formed between us is due to the Luo family. Although those two girls are young and pretty, they aren't nation-toppling beauties. As long as you agree, the Chu family will give you 10,000 beauties like them. 
their talent and looks will definitely not be inferior as well. If you are willing to release Chu Kuang, the Chu family is even willing to bestow you with unimaginable wealth. The Chu family is willing to form good relationships with someone of limitless potential like you. You can have everything. But if you let your temper get the better of you and you kill Chu Kuang, not only will you become the Chu family's mortal enemy, but you will also be provoking Divine Venerate Brahma. When the Chu family reports this to the Divine Venerate, the nine underworld hunters will be dispatched. Then no matter where you run, you won't be able to escape. I trust that you'll make a wise choice, said Chu Huairan, his words containing both threats and rewards. He gave Long Chen both face and a way out. Nine underworld hunters, asked Long Chen with interest. That expression of his gave Chu Huairan some confidence. He calmly said, it seems that you know of the nine underworld hunters. They are the number one assassination organization within the nine heavens and ten lands. Their assassins are spread throughout every corner of the world. If they set their sights on you, they will become your worst nightmare. You won't even be able to close your eyes for fear that you'll lose your life with a single blink. Of course, you don't need to worry about this. The Chu family will live up to its promise. As long as you release Chu Kuang, everyone can benefit. Everyone stared at Long Chen, only to see him smile and say, In truth, I don't want to offend your Chu family. You're right. In truth. I've been infatuated by those two beauties from the Luo family Luo Bing and Luo Ning's heart sank. They turned pale. But for the Luo family, I'd have to offend the Chu family and some divine venerate, as well as get chased down by some nine underworld hunters. I'm getting afraid. Actually, I was just bragging when I said there's nothing I'm afraid of. Don't take it seriously. Long Chen laughed. The spectators couldn't help sighing. So Long Chen really was compromising but not many could feel contempt for this. If the positions were changed, they also wouldn't dare to kill Chu Kuang because Divine Venerate Brahma was not someone they could provoke. Not even the Academy could provoke him. Otherwise, they wouldn't be the only ones that were killed. Their families would be wiped out as well. Although Long Chen was a lower world ascender, if he was investigated, then whatever world he had ascended from would probably be destroyed. This was the cultivation world and power was everything. Reason? Principle? Justice? They were meaningless. Ha ha ha, that's good. In the future, you will be the Chu family's most respected guest. Chu Huairan laughed, concealing his disdain and ruthlessness. Once Chu Kuang was handed over, he would definitely think of some way to kill Long Chen. Today's battle had made Long Chen and Chu Kuang enemies that could not rest until one side was killed. How could they really let Long Chen off? I was originally thinking of letting him off, but that laugh of yours sounds like it contains hidden blades. It's a bit frightening. I suddenly don't feel so sure. What kind of person was Long Chen? How could he not understand what Chu Huairan intended? Chu Huairan's smile stiffened, and a bad feeling rose within him once again, but he still put on an innocent expression. No need to be afraid. Our Chu family is known for always keeping our word. Do we look like people who would break promises? Long Chen looked into the distance and hesitated, clenching his teeth. He said, then how about this? In order to be safe, I'll only give you half of him for now. That way, I'll have more confidence. Half? How can you give us half? Asked Chu Huairan. Long Chen then tightened his hand, and Chu Kuang's head was ripped off of his body. After that, Long Chen tossed the part below the neck to Chu Huairan. I'll keep his head. Once you fulfill your promise, I'll return my half to you. Chu Kuang had yet to advance to the Divine Flame Realm, so his Divine Flame Seed was still in his danshan. With his head ripped off, he instantly died. He didn't even have time to make a sound. Originally, he was already starting to feel safe when he heard Long Chen and Chu Huairan's conversation. He even had a small smile on his face. Now, the expression that remained on his head was that of bewilderment. The light within his eyes slowly faded. Chu Huairan almost instinctively received Chu Kuang's body. His head was blank, and everyone was silent. It was as if time had stopped. Luo Bing and Luo Ning covered their mouths, staring with wide eyes at this sudden turn. Just as the discussion ended, the main topic was killed. Long Chen, 
Chu Hu Iron and the other magistrate instantly exploded with killing intent and attacked. The heavenly deos rumbled. Long Chen instantly found that he couldn't move, and he felt minuscule compared to this power. Yet, he didn't show any fear. As expected, sword chi slashed through their auras. Two hands were pierced by this sword, and the locking power was instantly destroyed, giving Long Chen his freedom again. However, the only difference was that the head judge was now standing in front of him, to disturb the exams of disciples and even try to kill a disciple. You have knowingly broken the law as the heads of the Discipline Institute. Kneel and face your punishment, shouted the head judge. You, Chu Huan Iron was alarmed. Just now, they had attacked, thinking that one could stop the head judge, while the other could kill Long Chen. However, with a single sword, the head judge pierced both their palms. He was too fast for them to even track with their eyes. Despite being in the same realm, their actual combat power was worlds apart. This head judge that came from the battle god palace was simply far too powerful for them. Kneel and face your punishment. This is your second warning, barked the head judge. Chu Hu and Iron and the other magistrates' expressions suddenly changed. They thought of a certain matter. Kneel and face your punishment. This is your third. Without a word, the two of them knelt down. The three heads of the Discipline Institute had actually fought here, with two of them kneeling in defeat. The head judge's expression was cold, but he sighed inside. The two of them had reacted fast enough. If they hadn't knelt with the third warning, he would have been able to righteously kill them. It was a shame. Just at this moment, in the distance, the clouds shook. A pillar of light soared from the altar. Chapter 2924 Victory Mu King Ion and the other disciples of the Unfettered Alliance were covered in blood, but in their hands was the flag. They stood on the altar in victory. As for the Prime Glory Alliance's disciples, they had been killed. When Long Chen and Chu Kuang broke the formation, it made it impossible for them to admit defeat and be transported out. After breaking inside and killing them, the Unfettered Alliance set up their own barrier and lit the lamps up, obtaining the flag. Only then did the barrier go down. However, when the barrier went down, it revealed a completely deformed battlefield. It was no longer recognizable. Where are we? Did we die? No, we can't be dead. Right. Are we in spiritual states? Brother San. Mu King Ian spotted Long Chen's black figure and cried out. Brother San has also died. What nonsense is that? None of us is dead. Just at this moment, multiple figures entered the battlefield. Those were the ones in charge of healing the injured as well as cleaning up the battlefield. Chu Hu and Iron and the other magistrate were chained by a group of law enforcement disciples and carried away. However, before leaving, they both glared at Long Chen. Despite not saying anything, their sinister gazes said everything for them. The Chu family would not rest when it came to its vengeance against him. Being glared at by them, Long Chen cursed. What are you staring at? Didn't you promise me 10,000 beauties? I gave you half. So you should give me half at least. Why are you reneging now? Didn't you say that the Chu family never broke its promises? That your word is gold? Pear. How shameless the two of them almost coughed up blood. Was there anyone more shameless than Long Chen in the world? He had already killed Chu Kuang yet came to them with demands for beauties? Head judge. Many thanks. Once the two of them were dragged away, Long Chen cupped his fists to the head judge. I should be the one thanking you. Hopefully. Some tumors have been removed this time. Little brother, you're very powerful. You have limitless potential. Most important of all, you have that unbending Deo heart. That's the core of a man. You've revealed your outstanding talent this time. But be careful. The tree that stands highest in the forest is the one buffeted by the most destructive wind. You will have to face even greater challenges in the future. The head judge patted Long Chen's shoulder. Long Chen's power had truly surpassed his expectations. Hence, he was admiring his senior brother's hand fung more and more. That day, he had sent the head judge a spiritual message to take note of Long Chen and that his potential was shocking. The head judge had also felt that Long Chen was very powerful, but he had definitely not expected Long Chen to have reached this level. He was practically a monster. He, it's fine. Since I dare to excel, I'm not afraid of the wind said Long Chen. I have to leave now. I will report this to the institute head. 
and hopefully the two of them will be removed, said the head judge, vanishing. At this moment, others ran over, quivering with fear. Ba San, what is it? Hurry up, said Long Chen impatiently. Ah, about the head. Can you hand it over to us? It's one of the rules of the competition said that disciple fearfully. Why would I want this thing? You can have it. With how pale you look, I think you should use it for soup to replenish your blood. Chi Chen tossed Chu Kuang's head to him. The reason why Long Chen had wanted to keep Chu Kuang's head was because he was worried Chu Kuang might have some secret art to continue surviving as just a head. He had been planning on testing it a few times. However, Chu Hua Iron hadn't fought for the head, so he had clearly been worried for nothing. For someone in the mortal transcendence to lose their head, they could only die. That disciple fearfully received the head, and his face really was frighteningly pale. Using a person's head for soup? Disgusting. After that, another disciple gave him a transportation talisman. When he crushed it, Long Chen was brought back to the plaza. When he reappeared, he could no longer see the ruined battlefield. This place had been returned to its original appearance. The spectators had also left. Only Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the disciples of the Unfettered Alliance remained. Mu Qingyan was the first to run over and grab Long Chen's hand, excitedly crying out, Brother San, we won, we won, we're in our academy disciples, this victory was hard won, they had lost all hope of winning multiple times but had successfully won thanks to their efforts, Mu Qingyan was so emotional that her eyes were wet, Long Chen said, this is the path of cultivation, once you step onto it, there is no other choice. You must continue to advance, live better, cultivate better. You have to rise to even higher places in place of your fallen brothers. You must see even better scenery so that they can be proud of you. Mu Qingyan and the others nodded. This one battle had made them grow. Battlefields were there to truly temper people. Today, they had gone through an important transformation of their lifetime. Long Chen, thank you. At this moment, Luo Bing walked over. Long Chen had declined the Chu family's enticement, even killing Chu Kuang despite their threats. He was now truly mortal enemies with the Chu family. A large part of that was because of Luo Bing and Luo Ning, so her gratitude toward Long Chen could not be expressed with just a single thanks. But she also didn't know what else to say. No need to thank me. The main thing is that I simply didn't believe that old fellow's lies. How could I possibly believe that he could find 10,000 beauties like you? Does he think I'm a fool? I'd have definitely slapped him if I could. Long Chen laughed. Luo Bing and Luo Ning also laughed. This fellow really knew how to talk. After the battle, everyone went to rest. After all, Long Chen was quite tired. That final attack had used up all his energy. He didn't know what was going on. But in the immortal world, the power of the world extermination flame lotus had grown to the point that it almost couldn't be controlled. Even he was injured by it. It seemed that the flame essence in the immortal world was too dense. So a huge amount of energy was absorbed by it in just an instant. Long Chen almost didn't dare to imagine what would happen if he also activated the Nirvana scripture. Would that explode himself? After returning to his house, Long Chen installed some alerting formations around. He then summoned Huo Long as a bodyguard for himself. The Chu family's presence within the academy was too great for him to assume that he wouldn't be sneak attacked. After setting that up, he simply fell asleep, and the sleep lasted three days and nights. If Mu Qingyan hadn't come, he would have continued sleeping. Brother San, we're going to the inner academy to check in, said Mu Qingyan. She had a new set of robes on her. Chapter 2925 Moving out to the Inner Academy The Unfettered Alliance had obtained victory in the Divine Competition. Hence, all of them had become Inner Academy disciples. And today was the day to check in. The check-in time was noon. But Mu Qingyan and the others were so excited that they were ready as soon as the sun rose. However, when Long Chen didn't show up, Mu Qingyan went over to his house with Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu. Long Chen silently recalled Huo Long. He was still sleepy and could barely open his eyes. His final exchange against Chu Kuang seemed to have severely exhausted something within his body. It could only be replenished through sleep. However, today was the day to check in. So he had no choice but to get up. 
Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu giggled and washed his face with water to get him awake, making him feel pampered. Brother San, you really are amazing. Even that monster Chu Kuang was killed by you, said Mu Qingyan worshipfully. Even though she hadn't fully witnessed his final battle with Chu Kuang, she had learned the details from other people. Chu Kuang's trump cards had come out one after another, but he had still been defeated. That battle had practically shaken heavens and earth. However, Long Chen shook his head. Chu Kuang's power wasn't his own. It all came from somewhere else. He wasn't able to control it. So defeating him is only natural he. I really like that attitude. Unlike those so-called geniuses that start prancing like a peacock after the tiniest accomplishments, said Zhang Ling. There were practically stars of worship in her eyes when she looked at Long Chen. In the entire academy, Long Chen's name was practically known to all. This generation's human tier competition of the God Institute could be said to be the grandest of all history. The three heads of the Discipline Institute had come, and the Institute head of the Immortal Institute had personally descended. Because of it, Long Chen's fame soared. Having fought alongside him, they also felt extremely proud. Even now, they were unable to settle their emotions. Long Chen had slept for three days, but they were so excited for three days that they hadn't even been able to sleep. In truth, they hadn't even fully recovered their physical energy from how excited they were. Long Chen smiled. A full bottle doesn't make noise, but a half full one rattles when shaken. Mature weather bends, but withered wheat stands tall. The ones with no ability are those that try to stand out the most. Long Chen took out his robes. In the last battle, the final attack had blasted apart his sleeve. After that, he had picked up the scraps and now began to sew them back together. With his shoddy workmanship, the tears were not well hidden at all. It was uneven and rather ugly. Mu Qingyan knew how important these robes were to Long Chen and said, Brother San, I can help you sew them back together. I didn't really study those arts, but I have sewn a bit as a child. I should be able to sew them back together better and make it more comfortable to wear. No, I want to do it myself. The work being ugly doesn't matter to me. It's not like I'm looking for anyone to like how I look. Long Chen smiled. Mu Qingyan couldn't help feeling slightly disappointed. Clearly, Long Chen didn't want others to touch these robes. Perhaps this was also another covert kind of rejection. However, he had said that he viewed her like a little sister. Although she felt a bit bad, she quickly settled those feelings. Brother San, you said that these robes were made by your loved ones. What did you mean by ones? Asked Zhang Xiu with a giggle. Long Chen also laughed. No need to be so indirect. You can ask me just how many sister-in-laws you'll have. I can tell you. I just knew that a hero like Brother San would have multiple wives. That's the only way to match you, said Zhang Ling. Long Chen shook his head. You're still children. Real love isn't wanting to be with someone because they look beautiful. That's just liking someone, or more accurately, liking their looks. When you love someone, you don't need to just like their beautiful side, but you also have to embrace all their faults. Many times love requires giving far more than you get. That's why the fruit of love is oftentimes more bitter than sweet. What? Why? If love is more bitter than sweet, who would want it? Asked Zhang Ling. Because just that bit of sweetness in the bitterness is enough to fully satisfy someone. A person can be wounded 99 times, but on the hundredth time, when their loved one's hand brushes past their cheek, that warmth is enough to settle all the pain in their heart and make it worth it. Rather than saying that love is a bitter fruit. It might be better to say it's poison with no cure. Despite knowing it's poison, you will still swallow it in one gulp with no regrets, said Long Chen brushing his sleeve with his hand. Looking at these robes, he thought of Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Yi Zhikyu, Dong Mingyu, Yu Ziaokian, Zi Yan, as well as Len Yu Ian and Mian Kang Yu in the netherworld. He also thought of Yu Kingsuan who may or may not have reincarnated in an unknown location. He didn't know where in the immortal world they were. The competition within the immortal world was even tougher than on the martial heaven continent. He didn't know if they were doing well. He also thought of his brothers in the Dragon Blood Legion. They had all been sent throughout the immortal world by the dragon race expert. He didn't know if they had managed to grasp their own opportunities. 
Long Chen wished to gather everyone immediately, but he also knew that it wasn't realistic. He couldn't possibly find them. In a place as vast as the immortal world, searching for them was like scouring the sea for tiny needles. The only thing he could do was raise his fame to the point that the name of Boss Long San resounded throughout the entire immortal world. Once the Dragonblood warriors heard this news of him, they would definitely gather toward him. Now, he had managed to take one small step in that direction. His name was now known throughout the entire Outer Academy. It was time to enter the Inner Academy, and through the High Firmament Academy, he would create a resounding name for himself. Eventually, his name would spread far and wide, and the Dragonblood warriors would come to him one by one. Thinking of how he could be by the side of those brothers who had fought alongside him, he felt his blood heating up. Long Chen quickly finished the sewing. It was definitely ugly, but he didn't mind. As long as it was together, it was fine. He didn't care what others thought about it. After making himself presentable, even his damaged robes weren't able to conceal his handsome air. Mu Qingyan and the other's eyes shone. The current Long Chen appeared even more powerful than before. When he walked out, he saw that the Unfettered Alliance's disciples were already waiting. Boss San, Li Kei had fully recovered and led everyone in a cheer when they saw Long Chen. Through this battle, this group of youth soldiers had become true experts. Let's go. I heard that the competition is even more intense in the Inner Academy, right? I want to see if there's anyone even more arrogant than Chu Kuang in the Earth Tier Divine Rankings. Long Chen led everyone toward the Inner Academy in high spirits. Chapter 2926 Rainbow Crane Long Chen and the others sat on a flying boat, and they spent four full hours flying before a bright sun-like ball of light appeared in front of him. Brother San, the Inner Academy is up ahead. The Unfettered Alliance's disciples all grew emotional. That was their life's dream. When Long Chen saw that ball of light, he knew that it was a grand formation. From the books he read, he learned that the Inner Academy was the core of the High Firmament Academy. Its area was almost four times that of the Martial Heaven Continent, and the Grand Spirit Gathering Formation made the density of spiritual chi here almost ten times greater than in the outside world. Furthermore, Inner Academy elite disciples had many special privileges with benefits that were thousands of times greater than Outer Academy disciples. This was also why Mu King Ian would put everything on the line just to enter the Inner Academy and become an elite disciple. Only by becoming an elite disciple would the Academy be willing to spend many times the resources to raise you. After becoming an Inner Academy disciple, the Academy's resources would pour toward them. It could be said that within the Academy, the monthly benefits given to the disciples were only the bare minimum. If they wanted to cultivate faster, then it was far from enough. Whether it was Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, or Luo Ning, their families would send them a large number of immortal crystals every year as supplies, or just the monthly benefits would cause them to be quickly left behind by others. However, upon becoming Inner Academy disciples, the Academy would give them so many resources which practically couldn't be bought with money. This was also why they wished to enter the Inner Academy so badly. At this moment, the flying boat slowly passed through the light, and the runes on the boat lit up. If it weren't for those runes, this flying boat would not be able to enter this region. Because Long Chen and the others had yet to enter the Divine Flame Realm, they couldn't use the transportation formations. Hence, they could only use the flying boat. The scene before them instantly changed. They flew above an ancient forest whose crowns lay among the clouds. Within the clouds, it was like a natural painting. How pretty. It's practically a wonderland. Sighed Zhang Ling. A wonderland? A slight smile appeared on his face. In the lower world, they had viewed the immortal world as a wonderland. They thought that inhabitants were all gods and immortals. Living worry-free lives. Living forever. Never aging. However, after ascending... He found that this place was even crueler than the mortal world. Where was the so-called Wonderland? Suddenly, a group of cranes flew out of the clouds, forming a rainbow behind them. It's the Academy's rainbow cranes. We're actually witnessing auspicious animals. Does that mean we're about to be blessed by good luck? Zhang Ling cried out excitedly. The rainbow crane was an auspicious animal, and it was different from other cranes. It was noble and sacred. 
It didn't consume other creatures, and it never killed. Its sustenance was the spiritual chi of the air. Legend was that the rainbow crane enjoyed freedom, and it didn't necessarily stay in the same place. Legend was that wherever it went, that place was an auspicious land. The rainbow cranes didn't like to live in human abodes. It was said that the bloody and brutal side of humans drove them away. If someone chose to live nearby, they would rather leave. It was also said that as soon as the rainbow crane was driven away, the auspicious land would be turned into an inauspicious land. It was unknown if that was true or not, but many people believed in it. Apparently, only after the High Firmament Academy was built did the rainbow cranes come here. After that, the High Firmament Academy sternly forbade anyone from disturbing the rainbow cranes. If anyone did, they would be instantly expelled, no matter how great their background. There was a story about the daughter of an institute head who had chased after a rainbow crane due to curiosity. She was then directly expelled and forbidden from ever taking half a step into the academy again. After that, people grew more curious about the rainbow cranes, but they could only watch from a distance. People rarely got a chance to see the rainbow cranes because sometimes they would only appear once every few years or even decades. Hence, those who encountered them were all those with immense luck. Upon spotting the rainbow cranes, Mu Qingyan hastily stopped the flying boat. This was one of the rules of the academy. They couldn't disturb the rainbow cranes. The rainbow cranes were mostly white, but the top of their wings and their tails had some black feathers. And for some reason, when they flapped their wings, they left rainbow tracks in the air. It was an unknown mystery. The rainbow cranes flew by their flying boat. Seeing this, Mu Qingyan and the others were enchanted. These were beautiful life forms. So beautiful that it was suffocating. Just as Mu Qingyan was waiting until the rainbow cranes passed before continuing onward, they suddenly turned back and flew toward the flying boat once more. Heavens, they're coming back. We can actually see the rainbow cranes at such a close distance, exclaimed Li Ke and the others. Normally, the rainbow cranes didn't like people's auras, so they would hide far away as soon as they sensed people. Hence, they almost didn't dare to believe that the rainbow cranes were coming so close. The rainbow cranes were exceptionally beautiful. If they flew around a woman dancing, it would be the very embodiment of a raiment of rainbows and feathers. It was a beauty that could make a person forget all their vexations. Noveloon.com Long Chen quietly watched those beautiful figures and slowly smiled. These were the most beautiful life forms that he had ever seen. There were 70 to 80 of them. They weren't that large, about the same height as a human, and they also didn't have any powerful auras. Also, they didn't have any natural predators. It was said that even beasts would rather starve to death than hunt them. The rainbow cranes began to fly around the flying boat, stunning Mu Qingyan and the others. What was going on? No one mess around. Don't harm the rainbow cranes. A voice suddenly rang out from outside the flying boat. There were people shouting at them from the sky. Clearly, everything here was being monitored. Perhaps they weren't monitoring them, but they were protecting the rainbow cranes. The rainbow cranes continued to circle around the flying boat. Shocking even the supervisors. They didn't know what was going on. If the rainbow cranes were injured and fled, then whether it was Long Chen or them, they would be doomed. However, those rainbow cranes simply continued to circle the flying boat, refusing to leave. Open the door, said Long Chen. Boss San, exclaimed Li K. Bastard, did you not hear? Don't open the door, or the previous voice rang out angrily. However, Long Chen didn't listen. He directly opened the door with his hand and walked out. You're courting death. The voice was enraged, seemingly to the point of wanting to kill Long Chen. But Long Chen still ignored him. Long Chen walked to the top of the flying boat, and those rainbow cranes immediately began to circle him. One of them then landed in front of him. Suddenly, rainbow light covered that crane, and it transformed into an immaculate girl appearing between seven and eight years old. Big brother. You're a good person. Can you bring me out to play? The girl spoke. Her black and white eyes so clear that they were like bottomless wells without any impurity. Chapter 2927 Removing the pen bird Mu Qingyan and the others were stunned, staring in shock at that pretty girl. However, they didn't dare to believe their eyes. Rainbow cranes could take human form? 
In the immortal world, the beasts had to become one with heaven and earth, obtaining the approval of the deos in order to take human form. However, those beasts were existences far beyond their current imagination. If they hadn't personally witnessed it, they wouldn't believe that this girl was actually a rainbow crane. The reason Long Chen came out was because he sensed a spiritual fluctuation. It was as if this rainbow crane was greeting him. Looking at this girl that was so delicate that she appeared like a porcelain doll, Long Chen couldn't help but smile. He squatted down until he was the same height as her. Little sister, how do you know that I'm a good person? In truth, this big brother isn't a good person. Did you misjudge? Asked Long Chen with a smile. Long Chen was a good person? Ignoring whether or not others would believe such a statement, even he himself didn't believe it. However, with such an adorable girl calling him a good person, even though he didn't care how others viewed him, he had to admit that he was happy. The Rainbow Crane race can't misjudge people. Big brother is a good person. How about you play with me? I just slept for 3000 years, and now I want to go out and play. But my dad and mom won't let me leave this region. The girl pulled on Long Chen's hand pleadingly. Long Chen was startled. 3,000 years? How old are you? Based on your human race's historical measures, it's been 80,000 years since I was born. Your academy's dean has changed three times. But I spent most of that time sleeping, so I didn't get to interact with other people. Actually, other than you, other people give me an uncomfortable feeling. I can't play with them. So how about you play with me? The girl looked at Long Chen with her big eyes expectantly. No one could say no to such a face. 80,000 years? Three generations of deans? And he was the big brother? Long Chen's head was swimming. He should be calling her grandaunt. However, looking at her expectant expression, he said, No problem. When your big brother has time, I'll bring you out to pay. But today, big brother has important things to do. So I can't accompany you. I'll give you a gift instead. Long Chen gave her a Yuan spirit pill he had refined. It was a pill to replenish spiritual strength and immortal spiritual energy. Moreover, there was a star revolving on top of it with mist around the whole pill. It was nice to look at. The girl had never seen such a thing and happily received it. She then repeatedly thanked him. Big brother, I won't disturb you any longer. I'll come find you later. After that. The girl returned to the form of a rainbow crane. After another circle around Long Chen, she left with the other rainbow cranes, leaving beautiful rainbow arcs in their wake before vanishing. Watching them leave, Mu Qingyan and the others felt like they were in a dream. They had not just seen the rainbow cranes but also one that transformed into human form. Just at this moment, a flying boat appeared in midair, barging straight toward Mu Qingyan's flying boat. Seeing this, Mu Qingyan and the others cried out, but just a few feet from crashing into them, that flying boat came to a stop, leaving them covered in cold sweat. None of them would have survived such a collision. You've got guts to ignore orders. Four people walked off of the flying boat. They were all four peak experts. What shocked Mu Qingyan and the others was that these four peak experts were only wearing disciple robes. They weren't elders. Furthermore, they appeared very young. Who are you? Report your name, shouted one of them angrily. He was the one in charge of overseeing and protecting the rainbow cranes. And since Long Chen hadn't listened to his orders and had gone out, it infuriated him. Although the rainbow cranes had ultimately left unscathed, he still came to settle things with Long Chen. I'll return those words to you. Don't point at others with your finger, said Long Chen with a frown. The attitude of this guy was irritating, afraid of conflict. Li Ke immediately stepped forward. Let me introduce you. This is shut up. Who do you think you are? You aren't qualified to talk here. Li Ke was immediately chided. Utter disciple robes? Did you come to check in? One of them suddenly noticed Li Ke and the other's robes. Before this, they had only been focused on Long Chen who was wearing his tattered black robes. But now, they seemed to realize something. A group of novices dared to act arrogantly? Are you aware that the death rate of Inner Academy Disciples is thousands of times greater than Outer Academy Disciples? You have no ability to be arrogant here. Otherwise, in the future, you'll die without even realizing how you died, sneered one of them. 
Mu Qingyan and the others' expressions changed. They had been looking forward to growing in the inner academy, but before they even checked in, they were already blocked by a group of tyrannical people. Hence, their good mood vanished, and it was replaced with fury. Are you mute? Speak, shouted the leader. He then reached for Long Chen's throat angrily. Li Ke and the others cried out in shock. They immediately realized that things were about to go sour. Long Chen also hadn't expected this person to dare to attack him here. At this close range, this person's hand was already approaching his clothes. If Long Chen immediately retreated, he was 90% sure that he could dodge completely. But if he was one step too slow, that person would be able to tear off his robes, and that might completely destroy them. After all, the stitching he was using to keep them together wasn't very good. Seeing Long Chen's collar being grabbed by that person, Mu Qingyan and the others' expressions changed. They had a premonition that something bad was about to happen. Novaloon.com What's your name? Demanded Long Chen coldly. Brat, you have gods. I am Zhang Peng. What about it? Do you want vengeance? You newbies don't know how high the heavens are. I've seen plenty of you before. Sneered that person. Starting today, you can change your name to Zhang Peng. One. Long Chen suddenly kneed Zhang Peng below his abdomen, and an explosive sound rang out. Everyone heard the sound of flesh exploding. Li Ke and the others shivered. Every man knew just how vicious this move of Long Chen's was, and they couldn't help feeling a chill. As a result, Zhang Peng's body bent, and his eyes almost popped out. The hand holding Long Chen was released. At this moment, Zhang Peng was like a dried up shrimp lying on the ground, quivering in pain. He was in too much pain to even make a sound. The other three people were shocked. But before they could react, dozens of weapons came out and pointed at them. The three of them immediately became too frightened to move. What what are you all doing? The three four peak experts were shocked and enraged. They had not expected these rookies to dare to resist. By the time they reacted, their lives were in their hands. Lee K. Yes. Slap them all in the face. Let's make a ruckus to announce our entrance to the inner academy, said Long Chen flattening, the wrinkles on the front of his robes one, his, name is Zhang Peng, Long Chen changes it to Zhang Peng, the first characters of both names are the same, but if you look at the second characters, you can see that is with an additional radical to the right, the radical is bird, which can be slang for penis, in the second name. Long Chen has removed the bird radical. Chapter 2928 Can't afford to offend Li Ke was stunned. Have him slap four peak experts in the face? Did he dare? Are you a fool? You'll risk your life on the battlefield. But you don't even dare to do this. Cursed Long Chen. Hearing this, Li Ke clenched his teeth and stepped forward. He threw caution to the wind and slapped one of them in the face. Producing a clear sound. As a result. His own hand became numb from the impact. Red swelling rose from it. You're courting death. The one who had been slapped roared furiously. He didn't dare to believe that these people dared to kill him. And being humiliated by these mortal transcendence disciples made him feel infuriated enough to punch Li K. However, as soon as he moved, Long Chen slapped him as well, sending him flying. That person's face immediately swelled up, and he directly fainted. Stop. Suddenly, a shout rang out, and a group of middle-aged people wearing elder robes came flying over. These people had far stronger auras. Although they were also at the four-peak realm, their auras were condensed to the limit. They had reached the peak of the four-peak realm. The leading middle-aged man saw Long Chen and was astonished. Long Chen, why are you here? However, as soon as he said this, he realized that Long Chen must have come to check into the inner academy. Long Chen didn't know the middle-aged man, but the latter knew Long Chen. He had watched the divine competition, and Long Chen had left a very deep impression on him. With their arrival, someone went to pick up the person Long Chen had sent flying. At this moment, the Zhang Peng that had lost his bird was still twitching on the ground. So someone placed a palm on the back of his head, making him fall unconscious so that he wouldn't have to suffer. With the arrival of these elders, the unfettered alliance's disciples put away their weapons and stood behind Long Chen. The leading elder then looked at Long Chen. He essentially understood what had happened already, but formalities dictated that he asked, What happened here? 
Before Long Chen could reply, one of the four peak disciples took the lead. Elder, this black-robed fellow is rude and unreasonable. He ignored our warning and disturbed the rainbow cranes. The elder's mouth curled. As expected, these four didn't know how terrifying this black-robed fellow was. Otherwise, they could have avoided this calamity. After babbling for a long time, Long Chen was described as someone whose sins were overflowing. Someone who had broken countless rules and deserved to be expelled from the academy, or perhaps directly executed. The elder didn't believe that Long Chen would do such foolish things. Hence, he looked at Long Chen when that fellow was done. Long Chen said, Mu Qingyan, you explain. If someone interrupts me while speaking, I might not be able to stop myself from killing him. Hearing this, those two four peak disciples were enraged. But before they could speak, the elder gave them a glare. These two didn't know anything about the rules, so it served them right. Mu Qingyan explained what had happened. When the elder heard that one rainbow crane had transformed into human form and even asked Long Chen to play with her, he was shocked. The rainbow cranes were one of the High Firmament Academy's auspicious symbols. Even the dean was completely ignored by them. But one of them wanted to play with Long Chen? This matter is too big. I need to report this higher up. However, Long Chen, you've just joined the Inner Academy. No, it should be said that you haven't even joined the Inner Academy yet, but you've started to make enemies for yourself. That's not good for your growth, said the elder. He admired Long Chen, but this temper of his would make it difficult for him to advance in the Academy. After all, the Academy was filled with hidden dragons and crouching tigers. There were plenty of monsters. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I cultivate in order to live with dignity. I can wave off people acting arrogant and sneering at me, but I will not allow someone to twist my collar because that is not just a simple humiliation. If it weren't for my good mood, or perhaps that everything here is being monitored, this world would have four more lonely ghosts, said Long Chen. When others brandished their claws at him, Long Chen could view them as simply hopping clowns. He couldn't be bothered with them. However, for someone to dare to grab these clothes that were as precious as his life, well, if there was no surveillance here, that person would have definitely died. Crippling just a single bird off of his name was being courteous. The elder nodded. I understand what happened. They truly did things wrong, but your conduct was also slightly extreme. I am not authorized to make a judgment on this matter. Go and check in. I will have to report this matter to the Discipline Institute. If they wish to pursue it, they will notify you. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists to this elder. Another trial? He was used to it. In any case, he had a foot to stand on, so he wasn't afraid of such trouble. In the academy, it was impossible to avoid trouble. The more you wished to avoid trouble, the more troublesome it would be. If Long Chen conceded a step today, he would be forced to concede more and more in the future. This was why Long Chen was no longer planning on being Loki. He would barge into the inner academy with the most forceful stance. This was the fastest way to stabilize himself here. He had no time to waste. Watching as Long Chen flew away in the boat, the two four peak disciples were dumbfounded. Elder, why are you so biased toward them? Are you going to let them off just like this? Pay attention to your choice of words. What do you mean by biased? Said the other elder irritably. Are you fools? If we didn't come here, you would have been lucky to escape with your lives. You don't even know who they are, yet you dare to cause trouble for them. We saved you, but you actually say that we are biased toward them? HMPH. We should have waited a few more minutes before coming. Those elders were all displeased with this accusation. They had all seen Long Chen's battle. So they knew that he was a vicious character who killed without batting an eye. On the other hand, these lucky fellows had walked past the border of death but had yet to realize it. They were truly foolish. At this moment, the leader of these elders looked at the two of them profoundly. My junior, as your old senior classmate, I'll give you some advice. You shouldn't just cultivate your cultivation base. You should cultivate your head too. Don't be a fool and charge right into the tip of a spear. There are some people that you just can't provoke. You should know who the number one expert of the Outer Academy is. Of course we know. It's Chu Kuang. Once he enters the Inner Academy, 
we'll be folded under his subordinates. How could we not know? Said that disciple. The four of you really did get folded under his subordinates. Said one of the elders with an odd expression. Seeing the disciples' confusion, the head elder said, Chu Kuang has passed to the other side. If you wish to continue following him, then you were doing the right thing just now. Bring the other two away to recover. If you wish to pursue this matter, then you can make a report to the Discipline Institute. But I'd advise you not to waste the effort. There won't be any results. The two of them were shocked. They had been on duty the last few days and hadn't received any news from the outside world. Hearing that Chu Kuang had died, they hastily left to hear the gossip. Watching them leave, the elder sighed. The inner academy is full of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. There are plenty of monsters. Now that another vicious character has been thrown in, things might boil over in the inner academy. Chapter 2929 You talk too much the flying boat sped off, passing by many cities from above, from the sky. Long Chen and the others could see countless disciples rushing about, but they looked like ants working on their lair. Before this, I thought that they would be the ultimate peak of my life, said Li Ke as he watched those figures rushing about. Those people were wearing robes of the Inner Academy, but they were just ordinary Inner Academy disciples. After reaching the Divine Flame Realm, they were directly brought in with no test. However, even as Inner Academy disciples, their treatment was only slightly better than Outer Academy disciples. It was a far cry from the privilege of the elite disciples. The area that the flying boat was passing through was filled with ordinary disciples. It was because the elite disciples occupied different areas. The two of them were simply worlds apart. Lee Kei was feeling emotional. He had thought that in this lifetime, becoming one of these ordinary disciples would be the best thing he could ever do. In fact, just before they met Long Chen, they were already preparing to break through into the Divine Flame Realm and become ordinary Inner Academy disciples. However, due to Long Chen, their destinies had completely changed. Now, they were already core disciples of the Inner Academy, and even the hands of their families couldn't reach here. They had fully escaped the bindings of their families. The High Firmament Academy's elite disciples were existences that their families wouldn't dare to touch. Starting today, I'll work hard at cultivating with Ba San. Once I control my family, I'll bring Ying Bao, Luo Kang, Li Yi, and the others close family in so that they can be at peace. Li Ke clenched his fists. The people he mentioned were all existences that were part of the elite group. However, they had died in the divine competition. They all had similar experiences and their own worries. With their deaths, their wishes would be passed on to others to accomplish. We'll all strive to become experts together. We won't endure other people's suppression. I am not going back to those days where anyone could slaughter me. The other disciples were also emotional. Long Chen had truly transformed them. Now, they saw hope that they had never seen before. Rather than returning to their former days, they would rather die. Originally, they should have become any one of those bustling figures within the cities. But due to one person, everything had changed. Seeing this, Long Chen smiled and raised his thumb at them. These fellows were finally starting to become manly after the baptism of the battlefield. Ba San. You really are my lucky star, said one disciple sincerely. You're wrong. I am a star of calamity. Wherever I go, blood and slaughter follow. Only people with tough enough lives are able to survive beside me. If you wish to follow me, you better be prepared to risk your life. There is no such thing as reaping without sowing in this world. If you wish to be dignified, you must endure hardship that others don't see. Long Chen shook his head. With his terrible luck. To say that he was a lucky star was the greatest irony. Brother San, you must have suffered a lot before, said Zhang Ling. Remember, the greater a person's light, the greater the shadow cast behind them is. You always have to invest more than you gain. Don't envy others for their amazing backgrounds, talents, or resources. No one can obtain more than others without effort. You might think that Chu Kuang obtained many things that others couldn't obtain in their entire lifetime. But just because he didn't pay for it doesn't mean that the first generation patriarch of the Chu family didn't pay an unimaginable price to guarantee the safety of his descendants. You might not be a rich second generation, 
but you can work hard to become the rich first generation. Furthermore, is being a rich second generation really so amazing? Your boss Sam likes to put those arrogant second generation fellows in their place, said Long Chen. The disciples laughed. Li Kei and the others could be said to have decent backgrounds, but compared to Chu Kuang, there was a huge gap. The ordinary disciples of the unfettered alliance were even further away. From a point of self-inferiority, many people feel jealous, envious, and defeated, simply blaming their origins for not being good enough, blaming the heavens for not being fair. They often think that if they were born in that person's spot, they would be so and so. That kind of thinking is very dangerous. After thinking like that, you can let yourself think that all your losses weren't your mistake, but simply your bad fate. Remember, luck is what the modest victors say while fate is what the losers use as an excuse. Be prepared. This world is fair, and good things must be fought for. The better the resources, the more intense the fighting. If you think that just by entering the inner academy as elite disciples that you'll have an easy life, then you are gravely mistaken. I can promise that the competition in the inner academy is even more intense and crueler. You also saw those fellows just now. Four peak experts are simply patrolling around like they're nothing. If you don't work hard, then you might be stuck being a dung picker in the inner academy, warned Long Chen. Although some of his words were a bit exaggerated, they were reality. Despite having not entered the inner academy yet, he could already smell blood. Hence, he had to give these excited children a dose of reality now. Brother San, we understand. We're not afraid. We were ready to give up our lives during the divine competition. If the path ahead of us is filled with pitfalls, then we will cross them fearlessly, said Mu Qingyan while grabbing the hilt of her sword. Long Chen nodded. This warning was just to avoid them being caught off guard and resulting in a calamitous drop in morale. That would be bad. Their current morale was soaring, and that had to be maintained in order to keep a strong unity and drive. Only then could they obtain better lives in the inner academy and gain better resources. At this moment, another barrier appeared in front of them. After the flying boat passed through, they saw a giant gate ahead of them, and over ten people were guarding this gate. It was forbidden to travel using flying boats further. Hence, Mu Qingyan stopped the flying boat here, and everyone walked off. Did you come to check in? Where did you come from? asked one of the four peak experts guarding the gate frostily. Everyone was startled. What did he mean by where did they come from? Was that not obvious? Mu Qingyan saw that this person was standing in front of Long Chen, worried about Long Chen slapping him in response. She hastily said, We are outer academy disciples who passed through the divine competition. We're here to check in. Mu Qingyan passed over a special tablet that was proof of their new status. That person received it and then eyed Long Chen oddly. Why are you not wearing disciple robes? This is senior apprentice brother Long Chen. He also has another status as an instructor of the God Institute and is permitted to not wear disciple robes, said Mu Qingyan quickly. That person eyed Long Chen up and down. He sneered. The Outer Academy's instructors are all a bunch of useless scammers. Such a person can also enter the Inner Academy you talk too much. Finally. Long Chen slapped him in the face. As he crumpled to the ground, the surrounding experts immediately surrounded Long Chen and the others. Capture him. These four peak experts attacked Long Chen at once, their fists hurtling toward him. Chapter 2930A Fight Breaking Out This place was the entrance to the true inner academy. There was a transportation formation here, but not many people were coming and going from it. When these people saw a group of mortal transcendence rookies arrive, they shook their heads inside. They knew that these newcomers were about to face some trouble. There was a custom within the inner academy, and that was to bully the newcomers. These people had also been bullied when they came in, so as long as they had nothing else to do, causing some trouble for the newcomers was their way to vent. As for the academy, they pretended not to see this, as long as no one broke the rules of the academy. The disciples could do as they please. Under the glorified name of teaching the newcomers a lesson, they had their arrogance beat out of them. That way, they would be less likely to cause trouble in the inner academy. Just as the people here were shaking their heads, Long Chen slapped that four-peak disciple to the ground, 
causing them to jump. There's going to be a good show this time. Get a good spot. Quick. Brother. Can you help me out? You're in the best spot to watch. Dozens of people immediately swarmed over excitedly. They knew that many people were going to be arriving soon when this news spread. So they hastily occupied the best spots. Just at this moment, the other four peak disciples attacked Long Chen with their fists. Long Chen was originally preparing to activate his divine ring. But then he saw that these people were only attacking with their physical power. Although they were angry, they didn't use their cultivation techniques or magical arts. Or even weapons. Seeing that, he also didn't activate his divine ring. Instead, his fist smashed into the nose of someone charging at him. With a crunching sound, blood, mucus, and tears flew out of his face. New little brothers, don't worry. It is forbidden to use any magical arts here. You also can't use weapons. If you want to fight, you can only use your muscles. You won't be punished for fighting here. So if you don't like someone, feel free to beat them up encouraged one of the spectators upon spotting Li Kei and the others who were hesitating. Fights often broke out here. The old disciples bullied the new disciples, and the new disciples naturally wouldn't take that lying down. However, how could some novices beat these senior disciples? Most fights were over in just a few moves. Then they would be allowed to go check in Novaloon.com. The academy ignored the fighting here as long as both sides followed the rules of not using their magical arts and weapons. As long as no casualties freely occurred, it was fine. Hearing this, Lee K and the others immediately charged into battle. Lee K knocked one senior disciple down with a kick, and before he could get up, another one stamped his foot on his face. The unfettered alliance's disciples collapsed on them fighting in groups of four or five against one. As for Long Chen, he knocked down these disciples with a single punch. They were either left with bloody noses, teeth flying out of their mouths, or dislocated jaws. In the blink of an eye, he had knocked down seven of them without any of them being able to touch his clothes. Damn, that newcomer's pretty strong. Every single one of his punches landed perfectly, leading to the next. How does this generation of newcomers have so many demons? Wait, isn't that fellow familiar? Isn't that Long Chen? As more and more people rushed over, one of them suddenly recognized Long Chen. Long Chen? Who's that? You were in seclusion for half a year, and he joined the academy around three months ago. You naturally don't know him. Stop shouting. Sit and watch quietly. Don't ruin other people's viewing pleasure. If you want to talk. Talk spiritually, said another person irritably. Just at this moment, a large group containing hundreds of people came out of the gate. They were all wearing guard uniforms. Damn, now it's getting big. The guards were actually disturbed from their drills. This large group immediately charged over just as Long Chen knocked down the final four peak disciple. Bastards. It seems that you newcomers are getting arrogant. Ha. Huh. Beat them up. The guards charged forward furiously. Just like the ones before, these guards didn't use their techniques. They only used their fists and feet. Long Chen felt like these people had to have something wrong with their brains. What was the point of this fight? Vexed. He didn't bother trying to explain. He simply kicked the one who had taken the lead. That person was then sent smashing into the people behind him, causing several broken bones. Although Long Chen hadn't summoned his divine ring or used his astral energy. Just his physical body was too powerful for these four peak experts to fight him. This fellow's pretty tough. Beat him together. Those guards immediately focused on him. At the very least, they knew that to capture bandits, the first thing to do was to capture their king. Seeing this, Long Chen snorted. They wanted to use close range combat against him? He'd give them a lesson for free today. Bang. Crack. Aya fuck. Long Chen charged through their midst like a phantom moving through them. Not one person was able to strike him as he attacked them with fists, palms, and claws. Anyone who got close to him simply collapsed with a scream or a painful grunt. When Long Chen flew through their midst like a tiger amongst sheep, the spectators were dumbfounded. What kind of skill was this? There was a saying that two fists had difficulty fighting four fists. But even in the midst of this chaos, surrounded by enemies, Long Chen was dominating. Dozens of people were knocked down in just a moment. 
but he wasn't even struck once. While Long Chen was winning, Li Ke and the others were in trouble. Originally, they used numbers to swarm one opponent and were able to win, but now that they were outnumbered, they quickly collapsed. Hey, little sister, don't take out your sword. They don't dare to touch you, but if you take out your sword, it'll be troublesome. Also, once you fall to the ground, they won't touch you. You can just lie down. Just as Mu Qingyan was taking out her sword, someone called out to her. Only then did she notice that just as that person said, once a person was on the ground, the other side wouldn't continue hitting them. They only targeted the people that were still standing. For a moment, Mu Qingyan, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the other female members of the Unfettered Alliance were lost. No one attacked them, but they also couldn't just watch as Li Kei and the others were knocked down. However, did the guys really want them to go fighting with their fists? Just as they were hesitating, the rest of the Unfettered Alliance was knocked down. Their attackers then eyed Mu Qingyan and the others for just a moment before snorting and charging at Long Chen. At that moment, another flying boat descended, and a group of people walked out. Their leaders were Luo Bing and Luo Ning. As soon as they walked out, they saw Long Chen fighting a giant group, so they were dumbfounded. What is going on here? Chapter 2931 Ba San is Mighty Today was also the day for the Immortal Competition's winners to check in. However, Mu Qingyan and the others had been too excited and had moved out in advance. They had been stalled a bit by the rainbow cranes on the way, but they still arrived a bit earlier than Luo Bing and the others. By the time the Immortal Institute's disciples arrived, they saw that Li Kei and the others had been knocked down. As for Long Chen, he was surrounded by hundreds of people. It was a chaotic sight that dumbfounded them. King Guyan, what happened here? Why are you fighting? Asked Luo Bing. Because, actually, I don't know either. Mu King Guyan thought about it for a while and suddenly realized that she also had no idea why a fight had broken out here. What Luo Bing was speechless. Even before entering the inner academy Long Chen already started a fight. This is already the second. We had another fight on the way here, said Zhang Ling helplessly. Hearing this, even Luo Bing couldn't help sighing. Had Long Chen gotten addicted to fighting? Let's first join in. Luo Ning rolled up her sleeves. Just as she was about to attack, Mu King Guyan stopped her. It was forbidden to use weapons here. So for a woman to join in would put her at too great of a disadvantage. That was especially true for the Immortal Institute's disciples. They had weaker physical bodies, and since they couldn't use magical arts, they would naturally be at an immense disadvantage. After all, those were four peak experts. Other than Long Chen, none of them could actually fight them head on. Don't spread out your attacks. Work together to close in on him. Don't let him dodge IUA4 peak expert tried to give orders, but Long Chen deftly weaved through the crowd, knocking down everyone he touched. This person had received a kick to the abdomen and tumbled back. As a result, the pain made it impossible for him to stand again. The other four peak experts joined into a circular wall around Long Chen, pressing down on him from every direction. This was the only way to stop his strange movements. Attack. Over a hundred people stepped forward at once, some jumping into the air to seal all paths for Long Chen to dodge. Blast away, Long Chen suddenly let out a shout. His voice was like thunder, and those people charging at him were instantly blown back like a flower blossoming. They then tumbled into the distance. With a single chi wave, Long Chen's surroundings were emptied. He had two people in his hand as well. Those two lay there like mud, their bones broken. Those two were the unlucky ones. At that moment, Long Chen had grabbed them and used them as human weapons, swinging them wildly to knock everyone else away. Thus, the two of them had passed out. However, Long Chen already showed some restraint, as he had picked out the two with the strongest physical bodies. He had not attacked them this entire time just to prepare for such a moment, and the facts showed that it was truly correct to leave himself more outs. The gate now had a mass of people lying in front of it, and only 70 to 80 guards were still standing. However, when they looked at Long Chen, they were filled with terror. They no longer dared to charge forward. Even hundreds of them had been unable to do anything to Long Chen. With their remaining numbers, they would just be asking for a beating. Nice. 
cheers rang out after a moment of silence. The spectators then began to clap for Long Chen's display. Haha, <laughs> how satisfying. These bastards also made things difficult for me when I came. Junior brother, good job. In the inner academy, you can't be a coward, or you won't have a place for yourself. These spectators had been bullied by others when they first joined the academy. Regrettably, they hadn't known things that they knew now, and they also didn't have the power that Long Chen had. Thus, seeing these guards get put in their place, they felt particularly refreshed. Are we still playing? If not, I'm going to go check in, said Long Chen, tossing the two half-dead fellows to the ground. Brat, don't think that a powerful physical body means that you can be arrogant. If it weren't for the academy's rules, we'd have beaten you to a pulp, cursed one of the disciples who was lying on the ground. They were not allowed to use their cultivation base, their cultivation technique, their battle skills, their weapons, and many other advantages that they had here. That was why this beating was particularly vexing. It wasn't that their power was inferior, but the rules were inhibiting them. Long Chen then walked up to that person and patted his face with a dangerous expression. You shouldn't complain. You should thank your academy's rules, or you would currently be in the netherworld complaining to a Yama king. For some reason, being stared at so closely by Long Chen made that person's hair stand on end. He felt like he was staring into the eyes of a terrifying beast that had once more consumed him. The sensation of death filled his heart. Seeing that this person wasn't talking any longer, Long Chen slowly stood and patted some dust off of his body. He then walked over to Li Ke and pulled him out. At this time, the other unfettered alliance disciples were also helped up. Although they were injured, it was just a battle with physical bodies, so the wounds weren't severe. After all, no one had dared to strike them in their vital regions, so they could still stand. Only some people had some trouble and needed to be supported. The first words out of Li Ke's mouth were, Boss San is mighty, brother San, we, Mu King Gaian walked over a bit uneasily, they hadn't participated in that battle, so they felt bad, Long Chen waved her off, this was a battle between men who had nothing better to do, it was nonsense, wouldn't you have been laughed at by others for joining in, Long Chen waved to Luo Bing and Luo Ning, let's go check in, Luo Bing and Luo Ning stared at him speechlessly, what a carefree disposition, after beating people, he just walked off like nothing had happened. Even his smile was so bright. The guards also struggled to crawl up now, but some people couldn't walk and needed to be carried away. Eight people were left at the gate to serve their duty, while the rest left. It would probably cost quite a bit of money for them to recover. However, Long Chen ignored them. He asked the spectators where to check in, and with their guidance, they were quickly done. They finally received their official status plates as Disciples of the Inner Academy. Starting now, they were elite Disciples of the Inner Academy. Li Ke and the others practically danced with excitement despite having bloody and swollen faces. This was something so great that it brought honor to their ancestors. After obtaining their new status plates, they had seven days of free time. During this time, they could celebrate with some of their friends in the Inner Academy and say goodbye send word to their families, handle administrative matters, etc. After seven days, they would no longer be allowed to freely come and go, and would have to keep up with the cultivation system in the inner academy. Their freedom would be limited. Just as Long Chen and the others finished the procedure and were leaving, they found that the door out of the check-in location was blocked by a new group of people. Chapter 2932 Luo King Gaiang Long Chen was startled. They had to beat their way in and then beat their way out? Was the Inner Academy's welcoming ceremony really so special? Seeing his unfriendly expression, Luo Bing hastily grabbed him and whispered, They're not here to fight. They came to give us their card. As expected, someone immediately rushed over to Long Chen and courteously said, Junior brother, welcome to the Inner Academy. First, let me congratulate all of you on becoming elite Inner Academy disciples. I know you're all busy, so I'll keep it short. The Wind Tiger Gate is a very powerful force in the Inner Academy. Although we only formed half a year ago, our Gate Master's ranking has been steadily climbing. He is also a magnanimous and generous person whose family is extremely powerful. 
he has always had plenty of resources available. After that person's long speech, Long Chen understood that it was recruitment. Junior brother, come to our clear wind valley. Our valley master is a beautiful woman. With your talent and aptitude, I'm honestly telling you that you have a high chance of obtaining a beauty. Long Chen, our heavenly dragon gate shares the long character with you. If you don't join us, aren't you letting down our faded connection? These people had all come to recruit them, not just Long Chen. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and the others were also surrounded. Sorry, but we're from the Luo family. We won't join other guilds, said Luo Bing. As soon as she said this, those people gave up on them and focused on the unfettered alliance. There's no need to answer immediately. You can compare and look around. Let me just leave you with our card. There's an introduction there. You can consider it later. Someone confidently, directly gave Long Chen a refined card with no other greeting or speech. Long Chen received it and looked. There was a summary of this guild's history and accomplishments, what kind of benefits and treatment he would be given if he joined, as well as plans for the future. Long Chen clearly understood that the competition in the inner academy was far more intense than in the outer academy. People were already starting to fight over potential recruits. Hundreds of people had come, and each of these people represented a guild. Long Chen was surprised by that. Did the Inner Academy really have so many guilds? After that, Long Chen received all their cards, but he didn't have time to read them all right now. Brother San, are you planning on starting your own guild in the Inner Academy? asked Mu Qingyan. Long Chen shook his head. I'm not interested in that. If it weren't for Chu Kuang, I wouldn't have even bothered participating in the divine competition. Even if I didn't join the competition, I could have entered the inner academy through the Pill Institute. Moreover, I have many things to do in the inner academy, and I don't have time for such trivial matters. Upon entering the inner academy, it was possible to obtain many, many resources. Hence, Long Chen wanted to spend his time raising his power, not this childish nonsense. Mu Qingyan felt a bit disappointed. Although she had expected this, she couldn't help feeling this way. If Long Chen wanted to create his own guild, they would all immediately join. But by saying this, Long Chen was saying he had no interest in the competition between guilds. Mu Qingyan wanted to keep the unfettered alliance, but just by herself, she felt like she wouldn't be able to last amongst these geniuses in the inner academy. However, she was also unwilling to just let the unfettered alliance go like this. Long Chen looked at her and smiled. Every person has their own mission, their own burden. Your burden can be lifted by others for you for a while, but not forever. If you are unwilling to let go of this burden, then work hard to lift it. No matter what the result is, at least if you try, you won't have regrets. As long as you face it with all you have, who cares whether it turns out good or bad? Brother San. I understand. Mu Qingyan smiled. That was true. Before she had met Long Chen, hadn't the unfettered alliance been fine? How could cultivation be dependent on someone other than yourself? Long Chen didn't wish to interfere in their cultivation path. He felt like he was just a passing guest in other people's lives. He could help now, but that wasn't necessarily good for their future. Furthermore, Long Chen truly detested this kind of senseless fighting. His time was far too precious for such a thing. How did he have time to waste on such things? Just at this moment, a group of Inner Academy disciples in white robes walked in. The Luo character was written clearly on their chest in golden thread. The Luo Alliance's people have come, whispered one of the guild ambassadors. This time, there were over ten of them, and they were only in the Divine Flame realm. Despite that, just in terms of aura, they were not inferior to those four peak guards. These were clearly real experts. Their leader was a tall, handsome man. Every single one of his movements contained the bearing of an expert. Senior apprentice brother King Guyang, we finally meet, said Luo Bing hastily. This person was the Luo family's heavenly genius, the leader of the Luo family's force in the inner academy, Luo King Guyang. According to seniority, she should call him big brother. However, in the Luo family, as a child, she had been under the same master as Luo King Guyang, so she was used to calling him senior apprentice brother. I've heard what happened. 
You entered this time completely due to luck, said Luo Qingyang. Precisely. If that Gu Fei wasn't conned by Chu Kuang, our chances of winning would be low, said Luo Ning fearfully. Gu Fei truly had been powerful. However, Luo Bing and Luo Ning didn't actually fear him. It was more so that he had multiple other experts like Yuan Xinghu who had concealed their power as well. Even if the two of them would be able to eke out a draw in a fight, the rest of their members would be slowly defeated. Then with just the two of them remaining, the chances of them winning would be low. Thus, Luo King Gaiang was correct in saying that they had managed to enter the Inner Academy through luck. Long Chen, let me introduce you. This is senior apprentice brother Luo King Gaiang one of the Luo family's geniuses, and the head of the Luo alliance. In the future, we can all get along, said Luo Bing, pulling Long Chen away from the others who were stuffing cards into his hand. Only then did he notice Luo King Gaiang and the others. However, when he saw Luo King Gaiang's expression, he was startled, and seeing Luo Bing pulling his sleeve, he instantly understood. He smiled and cupped his fists, escaping her hold. This junior is Long Chen. Nice to meet you. Luo King Gaiang's expression became a bit unnatural, but he squeezed out a slight smile and also cupped his fists. Nice to meet you. Luo Bing was surprised. Originally, she had thought that Luo King Gaiang would enthusiastically recruit Long Chen. After all, he had helped them out immensely. An existence with limitless potential like him was a great asset to the Luo Alliance, but Luo King Gaiang seemingly had no intention of recruiting him. Luo Ning then looked from Luo King Gaiang to Long Chen. A faint smile appeared on her face, but she didn't say anything. At this moment, the atmosphere grew a bit awkward. Well, the check-in is done. We still have some things to do, so we won't disturb you any longer. Long Chen then started walking away with the unfettered alliance. Luo Bing stared helplessly. She had been excited to introduce the two of them, but things had turned out this way. However, just as Long Chen was walking to the door, another group of people appeared. As for these people, their chests had a large Chu character emblazoned on them. Seeing them, the Luo family's people instantly clenched their fists. Chapter 2933 Helping Others is its own pleasure The Chu family's people? Long Chen was first surprised, but then he thought of how big of a ruckus he had caused. The Luo family's people had come so the Chu family's people couldn't possibly be unaware of it. It would be strange if they didn't appear. The Chu family had also brought more than 10 people, and their gazes were especially hostile toward Long Chen. Killing intent dripped from their eyes. Moreover, their leader was someone that gave Long Chen a sense of pressure. This person's aura was exceptionally intense, so it gave him a feeling of mortal danger. However, that wasn't strange. This person should be the Chu family's top genius in the Inner Academy. His cultivation base was in the Divine Flame Realm. If his talent was on par with Chu Kuang, then Long Chen probably wasn't a match for him in his current state. In the Mortal Transcendence Realm, a person accumulated power. And in the Divine Flame Realm, that power erupted. The Mortal Transcendence Realm could be considered piling up firewood, while the Divine Flame Realm was igniting that foundation. The greater the talent, the greater the power that erupted after igniting the divine flame. The divine flame realm could be considered lighting the first lamp on a person's path of cultivation. It was also the most important starting point. Only by entering the divine flame realm could a person truly be considered a cultivator of the immortal world. The head of the Chu family's forces was a somewhat skinny fellow. His gaze was dark and gloomy, giving people chills. With Long Chen walking out and them walking in, the two of them almost ran into each other. They were less than 10 feet from each other before both of them stopped at the same time. The Chu family's people glared at Long Chen. However, their leader didn't have any rage in his eyes. Instead, he suddenly smiled. I have to thank you. This startled everyone. Was it the opposite day? Long Chen had just killed the Chu family's heavenly genius. Moreover, even the two higher-ups of the Discipline Institute had been dragged away and there was no news as to their current state. But he had to thank Long Chen? There's no need to thank me. Helping people is its own pleasure. Spanking people who are full of themselves is simply the right thing to do. So it's not worth mentioning, said Long Chen indifferently clasping his hands behind him. 
Luo Bing held back a laugh. Long Chen's words truly were so funny that she almost got caught off guard. However, while she almost laughed, beside her, Luo King Giang had no mirth in his eyes. Upon seeing the way Luo Bing stared at Long Chen, his heart sank. Although they were both surnamed Luo, the Luo family didn't prevent marriage within the same family. As long as they weren't directly related within 10 generations, it was allowed. Luo King Giang liked Luo Bing, and he had also vaguely expressed it before. However, he didn't know if it was simply because Luo Bing didn't understand the relations between men and women or if she was avoiding him, but she had never given him an answer Noveloon.com in truth. Luo King Giang was simply blithely unaware that Luo Bing was someone with a strong sense of duty in her heart. She only cared about the Luo family. She put everything into her cultivation and didn't wish for romantic matters to disturb her Dao heart. Thus, despite her beauty, even after all these years, Luo Bing responded indifferently to any romantic regards. She never had any contact with men. However, today, she had grabbed Long Chen's arm so naturally, causing Luo King Giang's heart to thump. A wave of nameless anger then rose within him. Fortunately, Long Chen had sensed it and used the opportunity to cup his fists toward him to escape that somewhat intimate hold. It could be considered him showing Luo King Giang his attitude toward such a thing. However, now Luo Bing's gaze toward Long Chen and that smile caused the flames of rage within Luo King Giang to fully ignite. He couldn't suppress them any longer. Not sensing this, Luo Bing continued watching Long Chen, wanting to know what would happen now. Luo Bing and Luo Ning's people had already walked over to stand behind Long Chen. This was a clear standoff. As the Chu family were mortal enemies with them, it was only natural for them to stand behind Long Chen. The Luo Alliance's people began to walk before Long Chen as well, but they then stared at Luo King Giang oddly. He wasn't moving. Ultimately, Luo King Giang also chose to walk over, although he was unwilling to stand on Long Chen's side. He had to express his position clearly as well. That person from the Chu family smiled at Long Chen's response. What an interesting response. But I truly have to thank you. And I really don't need you to thank me. Said Long Chen solemnly. Zhang Ling actually couldn't hold back her laughter this time. Despite knowing that this wasn't the place. She couldn't stop it. However, that person didn't get angry. Let me introduce myself. I am Chu Yang the head of the Chu Alliance here in the Inner Academy. Chu Kuang was my half-brother on my father's side, and he was also one of the candidates in line to become the next family head. I have to thank you because you've helped me out quite a bit in grasping that position. Although that little brother of mine was always pampered, to tell the truth, I really was a bit afraid of his talent. He was even more talented than me, and his mother's side has greater power. Even my father was somewhat restrained by them. So Chu Kuang was truly qualified to be so arrogant. If he had properly cultivated, he would probably have had the greatest chance to become the family head. Unfortunately, there are no ifs in this world. So I must thank you. I've decided that when I kill you, I'll leave you with an intact corpse. What do you think about that? Li Kei and the others were enraged. This Chu Yang was even more hateful than Chu Kuang. He could infuriate people with such a calm expression and that indifferent tone of his was particularly irritating. Long Chen shook his head with a somewhat bitter expression. Those words of yours really make me feel bad. Oh? Why? Asked Chu Yang casually. It's just that I'm not capable of holding back like that. I can't guarantee that I'll leave your corpse intact. Said Long Chen. Ha ha ha. Chu Yang laughed. Interesting. Really interesting. Do you know why I haven't eliminated the Luo Alliance all this time? What a joke. Do you think that the Luo Alliance is spineless? Raged one of the Luo Alliance's experts. During this time, the Chu Alliance had fought the Luo Alliance multiple times, and both sides had had casualties. Neither side had gained any advantage. I'd like to hear it, said Long Chen with interest. He felt that this Chu Yang was a far greater opponent than Chu Kuang. Chu Yang ignored the one who had interrupted their conversation and indifferently said, the main reason is because of Chu Kuang. According to the family's orders, I had to pave the way for him and leave all the flashy things to him. That way, he would have a greater list of achievements when he fought for the family head position. 
I plant the trees for him, but he plucks the fruit. But now that he's dead, all the fruit is mine for the reaping. Now you understand, right? Long Chen nodded. I understand. Now you can reap your harvest, as well as get revenge for Chu Kuang. It's two birds with one stone. It seems that you're quite lucky. Thus, I need to thank you. Chu Yang smiled. I already said that there's no need to thank me. It's simply natural for me. Long Chen also smiled. Then what do you have planned next? Asked Chu Yang. Long Chen shrugged. What plan could I possibly have? I don't like trouble. But I'm not afraid of it. The path of cultivation is long and dreary. So occasionally slaughtering a few people will make it more interesting. That's not bad. From just the tone, people would think that these two were old friends who were talking and laughing. However, their words were chilling. All right, then let's wait and see. I hope you won't disappoint me, said Chu Yang. Don't worry, I never disappoint people. But before you go, can I ask you something? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Please, go ahead. Are your knees bent and those two people protect you on the left and right there because you're afraid that I'll slap you? Asked Long Chen. Upon hearing this, Chu Yang's expression finally twitched. He then snorted and left with his people. Chapter 2934 Establishing an Independent Guild Brother San. That person is terrifying Mu King Ian's expression was grave. After the previous battle, her mental realm had sharply increased. So she could clearly sense that Chu Yang was concealing immense power. The gulf between him and Chu Kuang was huge. If the two were compared to swords, Chu Kuang was a blunt sword. While Chu Yang was fully sharpened and shining. Yes, he could be considered a real opponent. He knows how to reserve himself and test other people's weaknesses. He is daring yet scrupulous, being careful not to let himself fall into danger. However, this person schemes far too much. After scheming and scheming, your attention is drawn off of the path of cultivation. He's nothing to worry about, said Long Chen indifferently. Aren't people who are skilled at scheming the most frightening? Asked Li K. Long Chen shook his head. You have to realize that scheming is something that people learn. No one is innately born a master of this. As long as someone teaches you, then anyone can learn it. The only difference is who can scheme deeper and further. However, the path of cultivation is ultimately one that competes with power. In front of absolute power, those schemes are meaningless. For example, in this competition, Chu Kuang schemed deeply and arranged every detail. But didn't he still lose his life? No matter how someone schemes, as long as you simply focus on cultivation, then who cares about their schemes? Just break them with a single slash of your sword. Furthermore, with their little intelligence, any schemes that they can think of are simply shameless tricks. As long as you experienced enough schemes, you'll find that they're all similar and you'll learn how to use them. But these schemes can be thought of by anyone. Power is different. Power is something without any tricks to speak of. It is something slowly accumulated over time. Thus, when you encounter schemes, just learn from the experience. Don't go researching such things in depth. That will simply delay your own cultivation. The gains are not worth the losses. Understood. Li Kei and the others nodded. Although they didn't fully understand, they knew that their boss Long San couldn't possibly be wrong. Long Chen, why don't you join our Luo Alliance? We can all work together against Chu Yang. If that happens, our odds of success will rise, and it will be safer for everyone. With my understanding of the Chu family's people, the Chu family will not just target you. They will also cast their anger on everyone who participated in the battle, warned Luo Bing. However, before he even replied, Luo King Gaiang said, for junior brother Long Chen to join the Luo alliance would definitely be no problem. But we will still have to discuss it amongst ourselves first. You, Luo Bing stared at Luo King Gaiang in disbelief. She didn't know what was going on with this person who had always been highly regarded by the family. Not only was he not friendly with Long Chen before, but he even said such a thing now. Just what kind of person was Long Chen? He was the genius who had slain Chu Kuang, and he had limitless potential. Such a genius was something they couldn't pull in even by begging. But Luo King Gaiang actually wanted to discuss it first as if Long Chen was the one begging? Despite not being close to Long Chen for long, 
Luo Bing was deeply aware of just how proud Long Chen was. Luo King Gyang's words had essentially shut him out. No, right now, even Luo Ning was enraged. She had seen some of the clues. However, even if this was a matter of pursuing a woman, it should be an above-board and honorable pursuit. Such a petty response that didn't care about the big picture was deplorable. Furthermore, Long Chen was mortal enemies with the Chu family partially because of the two of them. And now that Chu Yang was targeting Long Chen, Luo King Gaiyang actually said such a thing. Long Chen frowned and eyed Luo King Gaiyang. He indifferently said, I, Long Chen, slaughtered my way out of a sea of blood and mountain of corpses. I didn't do it by relying on someone else's charity. It didn't happen in the past, and it won't happen in the future. Long Chen had noticed that Luo King Gaiyang liked Luo Bing, and he had expressed that he had no such intentions when it came to Luo Bing through his actions just now. However, this person's words and actions were all so petty that Long Chen already detested him. It was no wonder that Luo Bing hadn't fallen for someone with such a narrow heart. Even Mu King Gaiyan, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei, and the others were enraged. His words just now sounded like they were begging to be protected by the Luo Alliance. Long Chen directly left and Mu King Gaiyan followed. But as she left, she icily turned back and said, your ignorance will harm your Luo alliance. Long Chen, King Gaiyan, Luo Bing panicked, not knowing what to do. Bing Er, ignore them. Our Luo alliance is currently strong enough that we don't need outside forces. Let's go back to the Luo alliance. We've already prepared a celebration for you, said Luo King Gaiyang. Shut up. Luo Bing frowned angrily. Do you realize that if it weren't for Long Chen, the two of us would have long since died in the lava cave? Do you realize that because of us, Long Chen ended up building a sea of blood in terms of enmity with the Chu family? Your actions are essentially a betrayal. Do you realize just how important Long Chen is to the Luo family? You've actually thrown away such an important opportunity to the Luo family. Luo Bing was so angry that tears flowed out of her eyes. The pills that Long Chen refined could stimulate the Luo family's bloodline power and that was immensely important to the current Luo family. But Luo King Gaiyang had actually driven him away. Luo King Gaiyang, I know that you like my big sister, but if you like someone, you should do it above board. This scheme of yours? Despicable, spat out Luo Ning. Luo Bing was startled to hear this, along with some experts of the Luo Alliance. They didn't dare to look at Luo King Gaiyang. What nonsense are you spouting? I do like Bing Er, but I... I'm just acting according to the rules. Long Chen's origins are unclear. Who knows if he's a spy from the Chu family. What's wrong with saying that we need to discuss this first? It's not like I directly refused him. Raged Luo King Gaiyang. Ha ha ha. A spy from the Chu family slaughtered the successor of the Chu family's head? Luo King Gaiyang. I've always respected you. Thinking that you were talented and smart. And that you would become one of the pillars of the Luo family. But I didn't expect you to be so petty. You actually harmed the family for your own selfish reasons. I misjudged you. Luo Bing turned away from Luo King Gaiyang disappointedly. She had never thought that he was actually such a person. I order you as your senior apprentice brother to return to the Luo Alliance. Shouted Luo King Gaiyang. I won't go with you. I, Luo Bing, will establish my own guild. After saying this. Luo Bing walked away with Luo Ning and the rest of her alliance. Luo King Gaiyang remained standing where he was, grinding his teeth. He had never expected things to turn out like this. Long Chen, this is all your fault. Luo King Gaiyang clenched his fists, his eyes blazing with unconcealed rage. Chapter 2935 Bad News I didn't think that the Luo family would produce such an idiot. He actually pushed out Ba San said Li Ke angrily on the way back to the Outer Academy. Long Chen shook his head indifferently. Even if they invited me, I wouldn't join the Luo Alliance. I don't like groups. Long Chen felt like his actions just now had been a bit inappropriate. He was still a bit too childish. He had never planned to join. So why did he get angry now? Perhaps it was because the Luo family was his mother's family. So he couldn't endure thinking that his mother's family would have such idiots. Long Chen, wait a moment. Just at this moment, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the others rushed over. 
Luo Bing was extremely apologetic. I'm really sorry Long Chen. There's nothing to be sorry about. I wasn't planning on joining any guild, said Long Chen. No, it's not the same. Luo King Gaiang treated you with such an attitude. So I'm sorry for subjecting you to that, said Luo Bing. My big sister actually had a fight with Luo King Gaiang because of you. We're planning on establishing our own Luo alliance, said Luo Ning. Long Chen solemnly said, that wouldn't be good. You're essentially splitting the Luo family's forces. It will only make it easier for Chu Yang to defeat you. I know, but Luo King Gaiang is too narrow-hearted to focus on the Luo family's future development. Also, I wish to establish my own Luo alliance because I don't want to have to fight with him over strategy. I'll report this to the family after I establish it. If our Luo alliance's power surpasses Luo King Gaiang's, then according to the rules, I can take in the old alliance and become the leader of both. The Luo family's leaders must prioritize the family's future over everything else, or they wouldn't be fit to be a leader, said Luo Bing seriously. You're too strongly attached. There's no need for you to do this, right? Even if I don't like Luo King Gaiang, it won't affect our relationship. The collaboration we discussed earlier can still be carried out, so don't worry about it. It might be better for you to work with Luo King Gaiang for now. Once your power surpasses his, you can take his position. That might be safer, said Long Chen. Luo Bing shook her head. You don't understand. I'm stubborn. After that falling out, I won't work with him any longer. I have to hurry up and resolve this matter. It's too bad that the God Institute's disciples can't join your Immortal Institute's guilds. Or together, we would be stronger, said Mu King Gaiyan. Although they were all inner academy disciples, there were still many institutes dividing the academy. Most of a person's movements had to be within their own institute. So Mu King Gaiyan had no way to form one guild with Luo Bing and Luo Ning. It's fine. We can just be allies. We'll help each other, said Luo Bing. Together, they would have additional assurance in the inner academy. Furthermore, they would have to make their breakthroughs to the divine flame realm now that they had entered the inner academy as elite disciples. After they became divine flame experts, while it couldn't be said that they would instantly leak to being first-rate experts, they would definitely be above average. After chatting a bit, the previous air of displeasure over Luo King Gaiyang dissipated. Long Chen had already expressed that he wouldn't join any guild, so they would have to rely on themselves. Mu King Gaiyan, Luo Bing, and the others all nodded with a smile. They knew that Long Chen didn't want them to get dependent on him. In cultivation, the only one that you could rely on was yourself. If both of their guilds were actually in trouble though, they didn't believe that Long Chen would just watch. Furthermore, Long Chen needed to increase his power, so they shouldn't disturb him. Hence, whether or not he joined their guild was nothing more than a formality. They felt more free after thinking through this. Upon returning to the Outer Academy, Mu King Gaiyan gathered the rest of the Unfettered Alliance. This time, less than 400 members of the Unfettered Alliance were joining the Inner Academy. After all, over 1500 of them weren't able to participate in the competition so they would be remaining in the Outer Academy. Mu King Gaiyan had to arrange things for these people. The Unfettered Alliance needed to continue growing there. That way, they would have a source of fresh blood in the Inner Academy after the next Divine Competition. For example, if Chu Kuang hadn't died, then the Chu Alliance would have gained a large batch of powerful experts this time. Those disciples would instantly strengthen the Chu Alliance to a new level. Originally, the Chu family's plan was for Chu Kuang to lead these new forces into the Inner Academy. Once they reached the Divine Flame Realm, they would sweep through their opponents, crushing the Luo Alliance. Regretfully, this plan hadn't accounted for an anomaly like Long Chen. The disciples that hadn't participated in this Divine Competition would have a chance in the next competition. However, those that were weaker but had reached the peak of Mortal Transcendence wouldn't be able to wait any longer. They could only make their breakthroughs to the Divine Flame Realm and enter the Inner Academy as ordinary disciples. Cultivation was simply that cruel. There was no other way around it. As the resources were limited and the Academy wasn't a charity, the resources were given to the strong. Mu King Gaiyan had chosen a new leader for the Unfettered Alliance in the Outer Academy. 
She then encouraged them to work hard and win the next competition so that they could also become elite disciples. After that, she passed down some administrative tasks. As for Long Chen, he wanted to see the Seven Star Elder, Heaven Master Yan Yang, and Heaven Master Dong Ming. They had all helped him, so he had to thank them. However, he didn't get to see the Seven Star Elder. He heard that the latter was in seclusion to refine pills and would probably only come out next month. As for Heaven Master Yan Yang, he was lecturing right now. So Long Chen went to see Heaven Master Dong Ming. Heaven Master Dong Ming heaped piles of praise on Long Chen, encouraging him to study more in the Immortal Institute once he entered the Inner Academy. He felt that Long Chen could walk the path of dual god and immortal cultivation. He also told Long Chen that if he had any trouble, he should find him. After paying respects to Heaven Master Dong Ming, Long Chen thought about going to see the head judge of the Discipline Institute. But after thinking about it, he decided against it. This position was special, and getting too close might bring a bad name to the Discipline Institute and the head judge. In any case, he estimated that he would be seeing the head judge quite a bit in the future. After all, with the endless fighting in the Inner Academy, he would probably have to go on trials quite a bit. On the third day, Long Chen received a bit of vexing news. Chu Huiiren and the other magistrate had been released. Last time, they tried to kill him, but somehow, they had been released, and it seemed that they hadn't even been punished. This meant that the head judge didn't manage to knock them down. Those two actually dared to kill him in front of everyone but had escaped without any punishment? Was this academy rotten to the core? Or was it to say that even the dean had been bought by the Chu family? How was Long Chen supposed to play with them now? This news left him vexed. Hence, he randomly walked around, and without realizing it, he wound up in a secluded corner. After that, he sat on a stone bench, staring into the air blankly. He wasn't afraid of Chu Yang, but having those two old fellows targeting him was irritating. Just at this moment, he heard the soft sound of sweeping. An ashen robed elder was sweeping not too far from him. Novaloon.com youngster, your steps are heavy and your aura is turbulent. Did you encounter something vexing? The elder's head was lowered. He almost seemed to be talking to himself. Chapter 2936 Shocking Word Senior. What a coincidence. We meet again. Long Chen hastily stood. This elder had given him an extremely deep impression. The first time Long Chen had come to the Pill Institute. He had asked this elder for directions. Furthermore, the first time he saw this elder, he had a kind of feeling that this elder was definitely not ordinary. When Long Chen had been surrounded by law enforcement disciples, the seven star elder He Ziyu had come, and even with his status, he had acted reverently toward this elder. That confirmed Long Chen's guess. Now that he saw this elder again, he hastily rushed over. Senior, how about I help you sweep? No. With that tyrannical chi in your body, this broom can't endure your power. I'll do it, said the elder. Senior, how long have you been sweeping? Probed Long Chen. How long? I don't remember. I've swept through the spring, summer, autumn, and winter. I've swept through ice, frost, rain, and snow. I've swept through fine black hair to white strands. I've long since forgotten time. The elder shook his head and suddenly asked, Young fellow. How is your temper? Long Chen was startled. The elder had asked him the same thing the first time that they met, and now he asked him again. Long Chen answered, It's all right. It can't be called good but also not bad. Perhaps it should be said to be sometimes good and sometimes bad. The elder nodded. You see yourself quite clearly. You should know that it's easy for people to see others clearly, but seeing themselves is truly difficult. But you're the opposite. You see yourself clearly but can't see through the things around you. The elder was seemingly tired. Upon spotting the stone bench, he placed the broom to the side and slowly sat there. Long Chen hastily helped him sit. The elder seemed almost doddering, and it didn't seem to be an act. His blood chi was truly dried up, so he could be considered to have one foot in the grave. Senior, at such an age, why are you still working? Long Chen sat down with him. No, this isn't working. It's a kind of cultivation the elder smiled at Long Chen. The elder's eyes were turbid as if he was blind. But within those eyes, 
Long Chen seemed to see primal chaos and strange lines. There was something that he could not describe within them. Cultivation? Forgive this disciple for his foolishness. But could Senior give me some pointers? Asked Long Chen. When you can repeat the same simple action over and over again without any vexation and instead feel joy, you will understand. When I sweep the ground, I'm not just sweeping the leaves and dust. I'm sweeping away the vexation in my head, the dust in my heart. Once you understand the principle, you will find that the world is contained within a grain of sand. The cosmos is contained within a leaf. Every tiny thing has the potential to allow you to comprehend the mysteries of the grand universe's deos, said the elder. Long Chen was shaken. The elder's words showed him another kind of cultivation, opening another viewpoint of cultivation for him. The world was contained within a grain of sand. The cosmos was contained within a single leaf. To look at what was big from what was small was an unchanging principle since ancient times. No matter how big the world was. It was built from the tiniest specks of dust. Through each speck of dust, it was possible to look at the entire world. The world was like this. So the heavenly deos were also like this. This was why it was said that all 10,000 deos were built on the most fundamental building blocks. As long as you could grasp those basic fundamentals, you could comprehend all deos. With just a few words, the elder had opened a new door in Long Chen's mind. Countless fantasies were born within his imagination. It was like a valve had been turned on, and the feeling of enlightenment delighted Long Chen. Do you understand? asked the elder. Long Chen shook his head. No. The elder nodded. Good. Your comprehension skill really isn't bad. Speaking of which, my memory isn't very good at this age. At the very beginning, what did I ask you? You asked me why I was vexed. In truth. I'm extremely disappointed in this academy's rules. It feels like the dean is a fool. Long Chen suddenly looked around to make sure that no one else was around to hear him insulting the dean. Oh? Why? Asked the elder. The academy's rules and laws are filled with holes, resulting in all kinds of injustice. There's also the Chu family's people who have taken the entire academy to be theirs. Long Chen explained all the various unjust treatments he had encountered in the academy. When he spoke about Chu Hua Iron, he couldn't help unleashing a few coarse curses. For even those two magistrates to get off freely was extremely vexing. The elder listened to all of Long Chen's complaints before asking, What would you do if you were the dean? If I was the dean, I'd slap all these idiots to death and seal all those holes. Although it wouldn't stop injustice completely, it would at least be reduced and things would be somewhat fair. An orderly system would rapidly raise the academy's unity and rate of growth. And then, and then, and then the academy would get stronger and stronger. No, asked Long Chen. After the peak of growth comes a decline. Once things reach one extreme, they can only go in the other direction. When the academy grows to its limit and is unable to keep growing, it will start declining. You might say that such a thing won't occur while you're here, but you can't possibly live forever. If you've already pushed things to the limit, how will someone else take over for you? Asked the elder. They. Long Chen was dumbfounded. He hadn't thought of such a problem. If you were the head of a large clan, then in your generation you could raise the clan to its limit, sweeping through all your enemies. But without you, the clan will start to break down. The more glorious you were, the greater the destruction of your clan. Long Chen was dumbfounded. He had never thought of such a thing. But he had to admit that what the elder spoke of was reality. After reaching a peak, things must decline. This is an iron principle that has never changed. Some people skyrocket only to powerlessly fall afterward. Some are even stronger and smash right into the limit of these heavens. As for the result, there's no need to say it. Unless you can smash through the limit of this world, you cannot touch that barrier. All things are governed by laws. The heavens have the heavenly deos. These laws are like cages around every single existence. It just so happens that in this world, there is a special group of people who like to smash into that heavenly ceiling. Even if they have to die for it, they leave their blood as a mark on that ceiling. They're a group of fools but also a group of true brave warriors. They are called by the domineering and resounding name of Nine Star Heirs, said the elder, staring at Long Chen. What Long Chen shot up, staring in shock at the elder. Senior. 
U. Chapter 2937 Lord Brahma and the Nirvana Scripture Long Chen jumped in shock. He hadn't expected this sweeping elder to have seen through his identity as a nine-star heir. Was it just for him to hear? No need to be surprised. In the immortal world, there are plenty of nine-star heirs. You've managed to disguise yourself quite well. You've merged the seven supreme yang technique and the starry river of the sky art together to trick others. Furthermore, your nine-star hegemon body art has deviated from the normal framework. So your aura is quite different from the other nine-star heirs that I've seen. At least for now, you don't need to worry about your identity being exposed. You can cultivate in the academy peacefully, said the elder. Many thanks. Senior Long Chen hastily bowed in thanks. He hadn't expected this elder to have seen through him, but this elder was actually keeping the secret for him. That made him feel much more at peace. Senior, you've seen other nine-star heirs, asked Long Chen. I've seen a few hundred I suppose. Where are they? Asked Long Chen delightedly. He wanted to see them. His own nine-star hegemon body art had left its original track. So he wanted to see if he could learn the correct way to cultivate this technique. They're all dead. The last one I saw was 5,700 years ago. The elder shook his head. Hearing this, Long Chen was speechless. His excitement vanished. Don't think about finding others. Every time a nine-star heir's identity is exposed, it will draw countless experts who hunt them down. Supreme experts will pour out until they are dead. So you should just peacefully cultivate in the academy. Don't disturb your heart with such trifles. As the saying goes, the earth doesn't grow nameless grass, and the heavens don't give birth to useless people. Every person has their own fate, whether it is to be a commoner on the streets, an imperial regent, or a peak heavenly genius. They are all parts of the pieces that move the world. Bad things aren't necessarily bad, and good things aren't necessarily good. Whether they are good or bad can only be determined in the future. Why worry about them now? Long Chen nodded. This elder's words made him feel much better. He felt his vexation being undone as if the entire world had grown brighter. The elder was correct. When Long Chen thought back to his past, many of his experiences had brought forth his current self. Some things that had been thoroughly terrible were not actually bad for him now. Without those things, he wouldn't be who he was now. Before the result came, everything was still unknown. Why be vexed? The future was still unknown. Anything and everything was still possible. Senior, does our academy have the Nirvana scripture? Asked Long Chen suddenly. Yes, we have seven of the volumes. It is rumored that the Nirvana scripture has nine volumes, and our academy can be considered to have preserved it well. We have seven volumes, while Lord Brahma himself only has eight. The ninth volume has always been a mystery, said the elder. Long Chen was delighted to hear that the academy had further volumes of the Nirvana scripture, but the elder's later words confused him. Wasn't the Nirvana scripture created by Lord Brahma? How can he only have eight volumes? The elder shook his head. First came the Nirvana scripture, then came Lord Brahma. The Nirvana scripture was created by someone else. Long Chen's heart pounded. He had always thought that the Nirvana scripture was created by Lord Brahma, but it actually wasn't. If the Nirvana scripture wasn't created by Lord Brahma, why did he call himself Brahma? 1. Asked Long Chen. The elder simply smiled. It cannot be said. Long Chen was finding this elder more and more mysterious. He knew many things but refused to say them. Novaloon.com here. Help me up. I've rested enough. I have to keep sweeping. The elder extended a hand. Long Chen hastily helped him up. He then grabbed the broom and said, How about disciple helps you sweep? The elder shook his head. Some things look simple but are difficult to do. With your current heart and temper, you aren't capable of this. Child, go do your own things. Long Chen then respectfully bowed to the elder before leaving. This elder was truly a curious existence. Just who was he? In any case, his words today had truly enlightened Long Chen. Many principles were now clear to him. He also came to understand many of the inexplicable parts of the academy's system. Sometimes letting things take their own course was the best kind of government. According to that elder, all things within heaven and earth had their own destiny. Like a river of stars, it flowed onward. 
All life within heaven and earth existed to push the river of stars onward, right and wrong, good and evil. All these forces pushed the world onward. Yin and Yang existed together, and despite being opposing forces, they complemented each other, forming a whole. Even his bad mood was good. Hence, in high spirits, Long Chen had a beautiful sleep. Once he awoke, he was refreshed. Any fatigue from his battle against Chu Kuang was gone. He was filled with so much energy he had an urge to find a few people for a fight. His energy was almost burning with how intense it was. He was full of expectations for the inner academy. He had seen records of powerful flame cultivators in the Divine Scripture Pavilion, and those flame cultivators had all used the Nirvana Scripture, which was why Long Chen had suspected that the academy had the Nirvana Scripture. He hadn't been sure, but after asking that elder, it seemed he had asked the right person. The Academy truly had the Nirvana scripture, and seven whole volumes at that. It had to be known that he currently only had the first three volumes. Thinking of the next four volumes, Long Chen grew itchy. He had an urge to charge into the Inner Academy right now and learn them. However, there were still three days left until they were formally brought into the Inner Academy. Not wanting to waste time. Long Chen went to the Divine Scripture Pavilion and began reading again. During these three days, Long Chen crazily absorbed the knowledge here. Whether or not it was useful, he packed his head with this information. After speaking with the sweeper, Long Chen found that his view of the world had been too one-dimensional. He was a far cry from that elder. After three days, he had a splitting headache, and only then did he stop. After absorbing all that knowledge, he would need some time to digest it all. Just as he was resting, Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, and the others arrived. Everyone once more set out to the inner academy. This time, everyone was burning with fighting spirit. They knew that the inner academy was a whole new world waiting for them. Opportunities and challenges existed together, so they were nervous and excited. The guards at the gate once more saw Long Chen. Some of their wounds had yet to fully heal and they barely even checked their status plates before letting them through, not even daring to say anything during the procedure. Seeing this, Luo Bing and the others almost laughed. As expected, a wicked person was best handled by an even more wicked person. After encountering Long Chen, they instantly became obedient. Another gate then appeared in front of them. This was the gate to the true inner academy, and there was already a group of people waiting for them in front of it. However, when they saw one of the members of that group, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the other's expressions changed. As for Long Chen, he smiled. Chu Huiyiren, I didn't expect you to be here to welcome me. What a surprise. 1. A reminder that the characters for Brahma are the same as Nirvana. Thus, one would assume that the Nirvana scripture was made by Brahma. Chapter 2938 Too infuriated to think when newcomers joined the Inner Academy. There was normally a ceremony overseen by the Inner Academy's experts on the level of Heaven Masters to welcome them. However, nobody had expected to see Chu Huiyiren here. However, the current Chu Huiyiren was no longer wearing the robes of the Discipline Institute. He was wearing a new set of white robes instead. Long Chen smiled. Although this old ghost had come out again, he had been demoted. He was no longer one of the heads of the Discipline Institute. Before Chu Huiyiren could say anything, Long Chen cupped his fists. It seems that Senior has been transferred to the Inner Academy. Congratulations on your promotion. Due to attacking a disciple during the Divine Competition, Chu Huiyiren had been severely punished. However, because Long Chen hadn't been killed, and Chu Huiyiren repeatedly claimed that he hadn't wanted to kill Long Chen but simply suppress him. He was just stripped of his status as one of the three heads of the Discipline Institute and sent to the Inner Academy. At this moment, Chu Huiyiren truly hated Long Chen to the bone, and it just so happened that he was overseeing the welcoming ceremonies today. Hence, he had figured out what he wanted to say to frighten Long Chen and make him uneasy in the Inner Academy. After all, he still had a high status in the Inner Academy. As Long Chen was essentially in his territory now, he would make sure that Long Chen wouldn't have a good time. However, when Long Chen directly congratulated him with the mocking of a victor, his fury got to his head. As a result, all his words were forgotten. Aya, you're shaking. 
You shouldn't push yourself at your age. What if you hurt yourself? Who will take care of you? Asked Long Chen. Just seeing Chu Huiyuan quivering with rage was enough to show how much he hated Long Chen now. It was precisely due to this that any one of Long Chen's movements could infuriate him. Long Chen naturally knew what his goal was in coming here. Whether it was to frighten him or make him too uneasy to properly cultivate. Chu Huiyuan simply wanted Long Chen to know that the Chu family's roots were deep within the academy. If Long Chen hadn't encountered the sweeping elder before this, perhaps his mood would have instantly been soured. But now he wasn't very angry. Bad things now weren't necessarily bad for the future. Opportunity lay within danger, and it just depended on how a person viewed them. Hence, he was still calm facing Chu Huiyuan. You, Chu Huiyuan wanted to say something, but none of his prepared veiled threats came to mind. Long Chen. You still aren't aware of how close to death you are. After killing Chu Kuang, it's not just the Chu family that won't let you off. You've blasphemed Divine Venerate Brahma. After killing a Divine Venerate's follower, you should just wait for death. Long Chen disdainfully said, Give it up. If Divine Venerate Brahma really wanted to kill me, would you be so kind as to tell me so that I'm warned? You are simply trying to apply mental pressure on me. That shows that you are currently unable to do anything. The only thing you can do is use that old and ugly face of yours to disgust me. Even after all your years, you didn't grow a brain. Did you only come here to get cursed out by me? My mood is good today, so I don't want to. But looking at that face of yours, I feel like not cursing you would be letting down your parents. Well, let me just say that I stopped playing such childish games in my youth. If you want to play this game with me, I'll play you to the death. So I'd advise you to hurry up and scram. Otherwise, once I catch your tail, I'll directly alert the Discipline Institute. You should know that you're no longer one of the three heads of the Discipline Institute. When the trial comes, the positions will be switched. I wonder if you'll start crying at that time. You. What you? At your age. You should hurry up and find your grave in your family. Let me tell you. I've studied face reading. If you don't start accumulating good karma now, you will very likely die without a corpse. Advised Long Chen. Impudent. I, Long Chen, have been impudent for a long time. Are you only realizing it now? Make your play now. If you don't have a play, then just die. Don't lounge around here to just disgust others. Hey, what's wrong with all of you? This old fellow is new and doesn't know the rules. But what about the rest of you? Do you not know what to do? Asked Long Chen to the other experts with Chu Huiyuan. These people were elders of the inner academy, but they were lacking a general manager, someone with greater authority who was in charge of all the inner academy's supervision and management. This situation today didn't actually require such a high-level figure to personally oversee things, but one had come, so they could only listen to this newcomer. However, then Long Chen had come and directly cursed their new manager, leaving them too dumbfounded to even say a word. When Long Chen had come to check in, he had beaten hundreds of guards. This story spread his name to countless disciples in the inner academy, and they also came to learn of Long Chen's battle with the Chu family. Originally, they felt pity for Long Chen inside, thinking that Long Chen would be suffering under the management of their new manager who was from the Chu family. However, their new manager was struck first by Long Chen. At this moment, Chu Huiyuan felt like he would explode in anger, but he was actually helpless to do anything against Long Chen. These elders simply looked at Chu Huiyuan. If Chu Huiyuan didn't say anything, they didn't dare to start the formalities yet. What are you all looking at me for? I was just passing by and came to take a look. A little lower world ascender bumpkin is meaningless to me. Cursed Chu Huiyuan. After cursing, he turned and left, not daring to stay here any longer. In this state, he might say the wrong thing and let Long Chen gain an advantage over him. Then he would be the unlucky one. Chu Huiyuan's plan failed miserably, so he stormed off. However, his furious appearance shocked Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan, and the others. This formerly influential existence had actually just become a general manager here. Although such an existence sounded like it was backed with a great deal of authority, it was an empty title. In theory, he oversaw everything, 
but every real decision was something he could only give his opinion on. He didn't have the authority to actually decide anything. Chu Hua Iron had tried to apply some pressure on Long Chen and the others today. If it weren't for Long Chen, he might have succeeded in making them worried. Regretfully, Long Chen instantly saw through his thoughts, so he could only dejectedly leave. Even the other elders found this funny, but considering their status, they didn't dare to laugh. Ignore him. That old fellow didn't eat his medicine before coming out. Just treat him like a crazy dog. I heard that we have a complicated welcoming ceremony. How about we make it simple so we don't waste everyone's precious time? Proposed Long Chen. The elders smiled. They found his temperament to be very good. Hence, they did just as he said and tossed out some of the complicated formalities. Long Chen and the others then received maps of the inner academy. New robes. 300,000 immortal crystals each. Keys to their housing. The rules to the inner academy and many other things. Junior brother, I look favorably upon you. Let me give you a warning. Chu Yang is already your mortal enemy, so there's no need for me to say anything about it. There are two powers within the inner academy that you cannot offend, or you will truly be doomed, said the elder who was the head of this group. Chapter 2939 Existences that cannot be provoked in the inner academy Oh, please tell me, said Long Chen. In the inner academy, the Chu Alliance is ranked seventh amongst the guilds, so there are six guilds that are stronger than them, said the elder. Mu Qingyan and the others were startled, but Luo Bing and Luo Ning were already aware of this. Their Luo Alliance was ranked tenth, the bottom of the top ten. The elder said, rank three, four, five, and six are existences that you can provoke if you want. Although you'll suffer for it, it won't be too bad. But the first and second ranks cannot be provoked for any reason. As for why, you can just ask around in the inner academy and you'll know. Even if you don't provoke them, be on guard. I'm sure you understand my meaning. Long Chen naturally understood. The elder was saying that even if they didn't provoke these existences, Chu Yang might intentionally create some conflict between them. That was definitely something easy for Long Chen to fall for. Many thanks. Long Chen cupped his fists toward this elder. He wasn't bad. He knew that as a newcomer, Long Chen needed such a warning. After bidding them farewell, Long Chen and the others continued onward. Two large mountains then appeared up ahead. It was a natural mountain pass. At this moment, a multicolored divine light shone down as Long Chen walked up to the pass. All of a sudden, the scenery around him changed, and they appeared within a vast mountain range. As for Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the other disciples of the Immortal Institute, they had vanished. Most likely, this was the abode for the God Institute's disciples, and Luo Bing and the others should have been sent to the Immortal Institute. Normally, mortal transcendence disciples couldn't use transportation formations, but Long Chen and the others had reached the peak of mortal transcendence and expelled their mortal chi, having powerful physical bodies. Since that was the case, this transportation formation wouldn't have much impact on them. At this moment, Long Chen stood at the top of the mountain and overlooked the mountain range that stretched far in every direction. Every peak had countless cave entrances. Every cave was an immortal cave. Unlike Outer Academy disciples, Inner Academy disciples had their own independent immortal caves. Moreover, every immortal cave had its own spirit gathering formation, cultivation room, and training room. It was like heaven and earth compared to the residence of Outer Academy disciples. Every person's status plate was connected to their own immortal cave. However, there were also differences between the immortal caves. The ones at the foot of the mountain were the worst, while the ones at the top were the best. If they wanted a better immortal cave, it was simple. Simply pick out someone with a better immortal cave and challenge them. If you beat them on the divine rankings, not only would you gain the rewards of their ranking, but you would also get their immortal cave. The people with good spots didn't have it easy as they were often challenged by others. If they lost, their immortal caves would exchange owners. On the other hand, no one would fight for the ones at the bottom because there was no need for it. Everyone would be given one when they first entered the academy. So there were a lot of caves to go around. Long Chen quickly found his own immortal cave. He entered and found it to be quite spacious and clean. 
This 30-meter room had nothing inside of it. There were three doors in this room, and when he opened one of them, spiritual chi gushed out. This was the cultivation room. There was a formation disc covered in holes within the room. Those holes were for immortal crystals. If you felt that the spiritual chi in the cultivation room was lacking, then this formation could release the energy within immortal crystals to increase the density of the spiritual chi. However, it was a money-burning method. Hundreds of immortal crystals could be burned at one time to fully release their immortal spiritual chi. In other words, as long as you had money, you could have as much immortal spiritual chi as you wanted. Normal people couldn't play with such a thing. In the next room, he saw several humanoid puppets. But after a look, he curled his lips. This training room also had formation discs. Every puppet had a formation disc on its back which meant that the puppets cost immortal crystals to activate and become sparring puppets. Long Chen had an urge to test his fists, but he saw it written clearly on the puppets that they had to first be activated by immortal crystals before usage, or if they were broken, the academy would come after them for the money. In other words, they could be broken. So Long Chen shook his head and abandoned that thought. Who knew whether or not he would lose a fortune because of a single punch? Hence. Long Chen punched the wall instead. As a result, the entire room shuddered, and a one-inch deep imprint was left on the wall. But it quickly vanished. This wall also had formations and could automatically repair itself. Cultivators could use the wall to test their power. The record has been broken. You may go to register with the Inner Academy for 3,000 immortal crystals. A wooden sound rang out in the room. Long Chen's punch had actually activated its recording powers. I broke a record and got a reward. Long Chen punched the wall again. With a booming sound, the runes on the wall were destroyed, and no voice rang out. What the fuck? It broke. Long Chen was speechless. It seemed that this immortal cave was too low level. However, it made sense. Everyone was given this kind of immortal cave when they joined, so it definitely wasn't something amazing. There was also a small, quiet room to the side, but there was nothing else other than that. This immortal cave might be excellent to Outer Academy disciples, but Long Chen didn't feel anything in particular when it came to it. After checking out his immortal cave, he left and closed the stone door. Looking at his surroundings, he rushed off to the peak of the mountain. In the future, I have to live at the peak of the mountain. Ignoring everything else, at least I'd be close to a transportation formation. Every mountain peak had a transportation formation on it. As these mountains were incredibly large, it was actually a bit far from the bottom of the mountain to the top. Not far from the transportation formation was another immortal cave, and it had its own glorious signboard. However, it was closed. There was no way of telling the situation inside. Long Chen eyed that immortal cave for a moment before stepping onto the transportation formation. He then activated it, and the scenery around him changed once more. He appeared in a large hall. There were many people coming and going here. When Long Chen appeared, quite a few odd gazes were cast his way. It was because everyone else was wearing white robes, and only he was wearing black. However, Long Chen ignored their strange gazes and headed to the end of the hall. He then took out his status plate. I want to enter the Divine Flame Spirit Pool. Chapter 2940 Divine Flame Spirit Pool The Divine Flame Spirit Pool was a place that countless outer sect disciples dreamed of going to. It was the best place to condense the Divine Flame Seed. It was rumored that the High Firmament Academy's Divine Flame Spirit Pool was the envy of countless sects. Many heavenly geniuses came to this academy only for the Divine Flame Spirit Pool. Reportedly. The Divine Flame Spirit Pool was connected to an underground dragon vein. It gathered the spiritual yuan of heaven and earth, using the purest, most primal source of energy in the world. It was the best thing to build a person's foundation. Condensing a Divine Flame was very important to every cultivator. The Divine Flame was the source from which a person's potential was stimulated. It was where all a person's energy was ignited. In the mortal transcendence realm. People did their best to excavate their potential, but a person's potential was as mysterious as the cosmos. Some people were as inconspicuous as random pebbles on the road before condensing the divine flame, but afterward, they might erupt with a different power. In the mortal transcendence realm, a person was like a stone. 
Only when the divine flame was ignited would that stone split open, revealing what treasures were lying within. However, without a good source of energy to ignite a person's divine flame, a person's potential would not be fully excavated. And if the potential wasn't excavated, it might remain dormant forever. If Mu Qingyan and the others hadn't become elite disciples, they would have to buy spirit pills to ignite their divine flames. In this case, although they could still enter the divine flame realm, much of their potential would remain hidden to them. They would be fated to remain pebbles on the road for a lifetime. On the other hand, elite disciples had the privilege of entering the divine flame spirit pool to ignite their divine flames. Back then, Chu Kuang could have chosen to make his breakthrough during the battle. With his advantage as a divine flame expert, he wouldn't have been defeated. Even if he was defeated, he wouldn't have lost his life. One reason he hadn't was because he had never imagined that he would lose. While the other reason was that the divine flame spirit pool was something that could not be bought with money. Even with the Chu family's power, they couldn't have such a thing. That was why Chu Kuang had been waiting the entire time. If people still left behind spirits after they died, it was unknown whether or not Chu Kuang's spirit would go crazy with rage. He had won in the previous divine competition. However, the moment he defeated Mu Qingyan, he admitted defeat, giving up on that chance. He had done this to target Mu Qingyan. Moreover, his cultivation base back then had yet to reach the point of breaking through to the divine flame realm, so he still had some time to kill. While he waited, he could also bring in another batch of powerful experts into the inner academy, strengthening the Chu alliance. Regretfully, this grand aspiration of his had been ended by Long Chen's hands. As for Long Chen, he had now come to the Divine Flame Spirit Pool in order to enter the Divine Flame Realm. Hello, the Divine Flame Spirit Pool is full right now. You need to wait in line. Looking at the number of people who have registered, it should be your turn around three days from now said the woman in charge of this matter. No way. I rushed over here so fast, and I still need to wait, asked Long Chen. The woman smiled. You must have entered from the outer academy, right? You must not be aware that in the inner academy, hundreds of thousands of people enter this place through various examinations hundreds of thousands exclaimed Long Chen. She explained, it is possible to directly apply to become an inner academy disciple. However, it not only requires top-tier talent, but the other thing is, well, you understand, Long Chen came to a sudden understanding, so directly applying for the inner academy required not just talent but also money, neither aspect could be lacking, as for the outer academy, those disciples lacked both money and talent, so they could only enter through competitions like the divine competitions, Long Chen smiled, in the past, he might have greatly detested this method, but after hearing that elder's words, especially that part about there being no nameless grass of the earth, no useless people of the heavens, he understood many things that he hadn't understood before. Every person had their own use, their own meaning. It was up to you how to use it. The academy was not a charity. In order to exist in this cruel world, a person had to find their own meaning of existence in this world. All right. Then I'd like to make my reservation now. Thank you. Long Chen received a tablet that said 598, meaning that he was 598th in line. Just as she handed it to him, the number dropped by one, showing that someone had ignited their divine flame and their position was handed to the next. The woman warned Long Chen to keep the tablet with him at all times. He had to pay attention to the number, or he might miss his spot. If he missed it, he would have to line up again. Long Chen then nodded and left with the tablet. As soon as he left, someone within the crowd also vanished. Long Chen has registered for the Divine Flame Spirit Pool? Excellent. The chance has come. We'll kill him there, within a private room. Chu Hua Iron listened to that person's report and smiled sinisterly. Uncle, didn't we already discuss this? Long Chen is to be left to me. There was another person within the room. It was Chu Kuang's big brother, the head of the Chu Alliance, Chu Yang. He frowned. Chu Kuang had been killed by Long Chen, infuriating the Chu family. After that, they sent out orders to kill Long Chen to win back their reputation. This responsibility naturally fell into Chu Yang's hands. To him, this was a great thing. 
Long Chen had killed Chu Kuang, and now he would kill Long Chen. When that happened, his reputation would instantly soar. It would be one of his important chips to fight for the family head position. Yang Er, this is not a game. I know you want to personally kill Long Chen for your own list of achievements, but Long Chen is not as simple as you imagine. Every time I see his gaze, I get a bad feeling. If we have the chance, we must kill him. We cannot leave him any chance. Don't worry, no matter how he dies, the credit will go to you. A man would rather fight with wits, not power. Killing people without seeing blood is the most superior method, said Chu Huiiren. After several interactions with Long Chen, for some reason, Chu Huiiren felt more and more afraid of him. If Long Chen didn't die, it would be difficult for him to find peace. All right, then I'll arrange things. Chu Yang nodded helplessly. No, don't interfere in this matter. I'm afraid of you not being completely clean. If that bastard catches you, it will be troublesome. I will personally arrange it so that not even gods or ghosts could tell, said Chu Huiiren. Then I'll leave it to you, said Chu Yang. Speaking of which, what about the Luo family? The Luo family? They're worthless. That idiot Luo King Yang has actually become jealous of Long Chen due to Luo Bing and has rejected him. Moreover, he even infuriated Luo Bing. My subordinates tell me that Luo Bing has just applied to create her own guild. The Luo family was already weak here, but now that their power is scattered, they won't be able to even bear a single blow from us, said Chu Yang disdainfully. Good. Keep an eye on Long Chen's movements. This time, I want him buried in the Divine Flame Spirit Pool. A ruthless smile appeared on Chu Huiiren's old face. 